It's a new day, but the game never changes. We've saved the world, but can we graduate from dual high school? Join us as Shibuya Gato. They really said, we're not rehiring for the Slifer Red Counselor, just let the cat do it. Shora. Yup, that's me, Jaden Yuki. Calamity Carl. Uh, she Ojama ride on my Ojama shut King up. Carl. Ojama shut up. Hurricane. <laughs> Bio Roxas. Did you say that last time? Uh, <laughs> uh, yeah, season two. <laughs> <laughs> and crazy excellent. For this season, I'll say statements that end with a dinosaur related word. Use the power of the Millennium Storm. Microphone to duel their way to the top of Generation Next. That's the dinosaur at the end. That one actually lasted the entire <laughs> opening. We did it. Oh, yeah. Good work, team. That was great. <laughs> Don. What an extremely right scuffed Don. fucking intro. That was, great <laughs> that was maybe the most scuffed intro it, we've it ever had. It like someone performed some sort of terrorist attack on someone's part of the intro. <laughs> yeah, <laughs> yeah, honestly, <laughs> I think it deserved to interrupt, and no one's yeah. ever interrupted them, and they just decided to come right into a prime <laughs> golden joke. <laughs> But Come I think on, it sure. made it better Maybe because yours wasn't very good and they saved it. <laughs> I'm sorry, Bubble Man. I'll be better next time. Fuck off. <laughs> I, did, I did say that You're mine was You're just jealous that we get shit. to draw two cards. <laughs> hey, if Bio's the only one on the podcast, we get to draw two. <laughs> <laughs> Holy shit. Who can I special summon with two cards? I could probably special summon Bridget. I mean, so. yeah, <laughs> we did do We've that done it before. <laughs> oh god! An impeccable impression. You nailed it. What would Bridget's ability be? Um, long reach. You can play her in the spell <laughs> trap card zone, but she can attack anything on the field. <laughs> <laughs> it's that length. Yeah. Cool. I feel like her ability is that she can read. <laughs> Anyway, That's what's up, point. gamers? <laughs> we Welcome to the microphone! Wahoo! This is gonna be a fucking week, dude. This is an episode already, and it's been, uh, two and a half minutes. Welcome to the first four hour long Millennium Microphone. <laughs> no, Whoa, no, let's we'll go! Mess up on the cannon. Haven't we had a four-hour long episode no. before? No, we've oh, we've approached oh. three, but we've if never gotten yes, close I would have passed out. I'd be like, how did this happen? No. Fucking, that's double the length of the material you would watch on an episode. Yeah. <sighs> how are we doing? Uh, I'm doing good, doing pretty good. Be because, uh, let me pull up the photos, because I totally was prepared and thought to do it and then just didn't do it. Uh, did you all see that our, our boy, Baby Dragon... Is getting a fucking figure? No, yeah, he's yeah. little. Just getting that little plastic Good figure. Good for that little it. dude. Uh, they're making an Ichiban Kuji set of prize figures for a bunch of iconic monsters. So of course, uh, let me get all the photos here before anything else. Uh, you've got our guy, Baby Dragon, and I immediately had a quote to Joshua from Plush to help me. Uh, yeah, I saw so. that. There's our funny little guy. You see him? He looks good. And they recreated, like, the OG card art. And then you've got funny little Wing Kariba. Baby. With that fucking Photoshop filter background. It's very funny. Uh, then you've got the King Moki Moki. I need somebody to buy two of them and make them kiss. <laughs> and love wins. <laughs> I need them to open their mouth and it looks really fucking disgusting. Like, like the emote does. <laughs> <laughs> And then, for the last choice, it's funny because we haven't even gotten there yet, but I know Carl uh, probably popped off. We have this little guy. Why do you think I like yeah. these creatures? <laughs> You've played them Why before. I do not play Crystal Beast. I play Geminites. There's a difference. Okay. Shibuya, it's a fucking cat. I'm right here. <laughs> it's a little carbuncle. You like cats? You kick it like a football. It looks like a Pokemon. It does. It's Ruby Carbuncle. It I love has... her. It has the vibes of an evolution, actually. Yeah, you're right. Yeah, right. <laughs> yeah. I love her. Ruby Carbuncle's great. Absolute baby material. Uh, Honestly, one of the reasons why I fucking love the, the Crystal Beast archetype. You know, I have some problems here. It's a cat, right? Mm -hmm. Yeah. Ruby it's Carbuncle. Five, it's got five fingers. <laughs> what? 
How else is it going to grab its Oh my god, it does. Meanwhile, the back paw has a zero. <laughs> zero penalty. Yeah, I know. That's, so... that's what made me really upset and had to bring it up. Uh, I can't wait for Jesse to show up. and This thing just turns around to him and wiggles his little fingers going, Papa, pick me up. Yeah, what? but I'm just I'm just thinking about this thing getting upset and like <laughs> making the fist that Popico does in Pop Team Epic. God, that would be really good. Like hyper Carl's, detailed. Carl's worst nightmare. He's just in a room with a Carby, Har Ruby Carbuncle. It looks at, at him and just goes, "Let me touch your skin." I'll Ugh, kill what? it. I'll, I'll, I'll <laughs> murder that little freak. What the fuck, sure. You're re I'm gonna recreate that video dropping the brick from the yeah. top of the apartment on Ruby Carbuncle. Oh my god. <laughs> it's just the it's just a video of the rat falling from like eight stories up, but it's Ruby fucking Carbuncle. Oh, that's Carbuncle. my favorite video! <laughs> <laughs> For some oh, reason, rat. whenever I post it, people act like I did something horrible. So, uh, outside of that fun news, how's mm -hmm. everybody's week? Awesome. Oh, fucking dreadful. Thank you for asking. Yeah, terrible. I mean, it's was... been a week. Yeah, this I'm, whole I'm month, not... one of my coworkers uh, had a baby, and so I, I've been helping them out, and I've covered their groups in the evenings, and I've pulled like 12-hour days, and I'm, Jesus. I'm over it. I'm so mm. done with it. I'm so tired. <laughs> but next week's the last week, and then I'm done. Hell and... yeah. And then I, I hopefully I get paid for it. <laughs> hopefully, <laughs> yeah, that's the Don't hope. Think about it. How you doing, Carl? <sighs> Tired. I'm sorry. Have you have you quit your job yet? No. <laughs> I, I think guys, the tired please, uh, what? please subscribe to our Patreon so that Carl can quit his job because it's awful. Thank you. Yay! The ad break's not for another like hour bio. Wow, we're jumping the gun <laughs> on that. We did it live. We're doing it live. On their toes. We gotta keep reminding. <laughs> yeah, we've been doing it live for eleven episodes. That doesn't mean shit anymore. <laughs> we're doing it live while we're live. Yeah. <laughs> That's right, I folks. Gift <laughs> ships. There's. Yes, yes. Roll the video. Oh my god. <laughs> oh my god. I'm excited to talk about our five episodes that we watched this week. Yeah. Wow. Wow, wow, wow. Actually, the bit yeah, is right. dead. He said the right number. Yeah, Let's why, fucking why are you go. Saying, wow. Did you not know how many episodes we had to watch a movie? Yeah, it really. Five. It's literally 51, 52, 52, 55. It's five episodes. There's nothing difficult about that. Come on. Keep up. Yeah. I'm sorry. I'm stupid. As you might know, I'm too stupid to do this shit. Oh <laughs> God, I feel yeah. that. God, that's a mood and a half. Do you want to get in the episodes? Uh, Did... if... What's up? I do. Did I you like know that there was a cancelled Yu-Gi-Oh! GX movie? Thank what? God. Cancelled Yu-Gi-Oh! GX movie. What was it about? Uh, apparently a Tem was going to come back and, like... I guess he was going to duel Jaden and some other shit. That would have been there's fucking not a lot cool. Of, there's not a lot of fucking information known about it, but apparently ideas from the film were used in season two. So, neat. Interesting. You see what you see what happened to uh, dinosaurs? I did. That's it. <laughs> yeah, I did. Dinosaurs. Oh. I'm looking at this wiki page. The idea for the film came from Kazuki Takahashi's unmet expectations from seeing Mazinger versus Devil Man. Oh my god. <laughs> <laughs> Holy yeah, shit. it checks out. Yeah. A hell of a fucking crossover. Man. So he's a man that becomes a devil man. That's it. Literally, the plot was just going to be the Dual Academy kids go on a field trip to Domino. Uh, there's a t there's a tarot card reader who wanted to defeat Yugi, <laughs> and then Jaden meets Joey and something about Kaiba Corp. Okay. Can you imagine the dub for a movie where where Jaden meets Joey? Dear Dude, God God fucking Earth. Yeah, man. Anyway, hey, we watched some episodes. <laughs> oh, oh, thank God we did. Uh. Let's go ahead and start off with uh, <clears throat> episode <clears throat> 51. You're not gonna Congratulations, ask Matt, what part one. That bit's been done, Carl. What the fuck, what the fuck is what? that bit? <laughs> I wasn't here for that bit. Pot of Greed has been on vacation for a while. Listen, he, our, our executive producer deserves some He's time off. He's not banned yet. Like he was placed like seven money. times in these episodes. 
he, he's not banned. He's just taking a vacation. He left Jar here. Yeah, and you know what? He's fucking smells. Throw him back in the yeah, ocean. He doesn't do his job. He just sits in his office all day. Uh, well, God, I know that. Typical cool. manager. God damn it. So, uh, <laughs> this episode opens, uh, regardless of whether you're watching dub or sub, uh, with some kind of funny, kind of like, you know, uh, I have a big ego and I need to fulfill it names uh, on on a digital board. Uh, but that board was blue and it was very easy to edit. So uh, thanks, Shora, for this one. <laughs> Apparently this one killed Alto when they saw it. I don't know. <laughs> yeah. yeah. Alto saw that fucking casting couch yeah, and yeah, just it, died. It, 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 it's like, is this the casting couch? Yeah. Yeah. Uh, on top of that, uh, Shora really had fun with this one. Uh, you fool! Of course. Uh, Car yeah. Carl, do it again. Oh, oh yeah. Oh, you hold on. Ready? Three, yeah. two, one. <laughs> I love just having that there. <laughs> so I can do it full screen. <laughs> just sneak it in. Oh, yeah, it's important. Listen, that is crucial to the podcast. The minute I saw that screen, I just, I couldn't resist. It was so easy to fucking just put anything there. Yeah. No, it, it's, it was incredibly easy to put shit there, uh, which makes it very dangerous. Uh, but I even made a green screen version of it so Shibuya can use it for anything now. Yeah, so if, if in the future I need some shit, uh, I can just throw it in there. That's a format now. <laughs> So, uh, Zane is about to graduate. He aces his exams, so they're like, all right, you get to do the exhibition match. You pick whoever's ass you want to beat publicly, and then you're good. Uh, and <laughs> he decides that he's going to duel Jaden and visit the Slifer for Red dorms for the first time in his fucking life. Can I just, uh, something about this episode specifically, because I've been watching on a Crunchyroll. I went to go watch oh. these episodes last night and I clicked on, you know, Yu-Gi-Oh! GX subbed and uh, every fucking episode up to the exact ones, literally to the end of season one, were all only in dub for some reason. Like they I don't know. I don't know yeah. what happened to you. It was fucking wild. We, we watched on the same day and I had no problem locating categories. I think they're just trying to kill you. So I just like clicked the gear on the side and went change audio to Japanese and it just switched it over. And I was like, oh, okay. I guess that's what I have to do now. Yeah, I'm sorry. The Crunchyroll became kind of a shit service when it comes to watching Yu Gi Oh on there. Who would have thought? Who would have thought? <laughs> only, only for you. I've had a wonderful experience. <laughs> 52 <laughs> episodes flawlessly worked. Yeah, because Yu Gi Oh needs to be a, a premium subscription only show when I watched it all does. of DM. You, uh, you need the fucking privilege to check out these great characters. Nah, man, I don't, because I watch the GL fan subs, and it works just fine. <laughs> you have to pay a fucking premium to see Ojama Yellow. True. <laughs> pay me, boss! Hey, boss! No. I'm on a oh, paywall! I need money, please, God! <laughs> you get paid by living! I don't want that! I don't that. even know what's happening right now. <laughs> <laughs> I don't want that. <laughs> We're going on this <laughs> hell of a tangent. Life is <laughs> pain. Honestly, uh, yeah. I I should make my donations tab the only like different thing on my Twitch, and I should just make it Ojama Yellow in front of a tip jar, just being like, please. <laughs> That'd be yeah, very be funny. Mm -hmm. Honestly, uh, for the for the fucking sacred card stream, that could be a great idea. <laughs> yeah, j just be like, uh, no money, and have him doing like the Mega Mind pose or whatever. <laughs> If you put Ojama Yellow in the Mega Mind pose, the way the fucking eye stalks have to work would be horrifying. Yeah, but it's funny. Oh, God. <laughs> I, I feel like Ojama Yellow being the baby dragon of, of Mil Mike GX could be horrifying, but also insanely funny. A little. I don't know, that's just something to consider. <laughs> Um, 
So how about this fucking this fucking two part duel? God damn. Really good. Uh, I I don't have I'm a sorry. lot of notes on it because I was mostly just like watching and enjoying it, which is a hell of a way to start the session. I'm I'm very happy that these, it's a good these set first of duels. Two episodes are really good. Yeah. Just a really good way to cap off season one, honestly. I love how cunty Wildman looks in the eye catch. <laughs> okay, I mean, so yeah. I wasn't the only one. I considered doing something for that thing. <laughs> okay, I, I, you know what? Makes me glad I have someone to agree with on that. I was like, man, he just looks like he just got that that cunty energy to him. You know? <laughs> Is he serving? Oh, yes. absolutely. He's either serving or about to say something really fucked up in a YouTube video. <laughs> no, no, no. Wild, wild man is serving. Uh, wild jaggy man is going to say a slur. What? I, every time I hear that name, I can't every get over I it. Hear it's insane. Slur, I always think of that Mega Man stream character. Oh, from, God. Uh, from the Japanese. They never, they never did it for English, but it was, uh, I think mm -hmm. it was the third season of Anti Warrior. Oh. And it's just a, a, a character named Slur.exe. So <gasps> what? Jesus. Yeah. Oh, yeah, no. Slur.exe, who is basically the final boss of all Battle Network. Oh, my fucking... Uh, um, I mean, because, it's an internet... Correctly, Battle Network? It's an internet-based Mega Man. So defeating the Slur is the root of all evil actually yeah. kind of works out. Yeah. If, I, if I'm kind remembering spin, correctly, man. Slur was like the last villain that they ever used in the anime. Uh, exe stream so like uh there's stream and then there's beast and then beast plus so it was yeah. like the first of there was nt warrior and then there was access and then there was the sub only which was or japanese only which was stream beast and beast plus man i love yeah, that series because the the english stuff never got to the fucking psy beasts which was a damn shame because those yeah those were so cool god i love yeah, battle I network think so they much stopped around access yep i i, I only remember or watching around the time um, by the end when they were showing Shade Man, who seemed incredibly Spanish in that version of him. <laughs> Anyways, sorry. I can't wait. Tangent, no, but... you're, you're fine. It's fine. It's okay. They Plus aired on the same network. This counts. <laughs> it's the same vibes of early 2000s dubs of beloved Japanese properties, so we're good. We're, we're still in the ballpark. And then we would never get any good Star Force content ever. Thank God. Sounds so, like you're a little toxic today. <laughs> I mean, uh, oh, what? So I got a little bit of whiplash when Jaden, like, used logic in his duel. Yeah, he was working hard. Boy used his fucking brain and went, I'm going second because fuck your Sidras. <laughs> <laughs> he starts using Very his brain funny. and then the entire fucking episode, everyone's screaming at him, stop using your fucking head. Everyone's like, what the fuck are you doing? He's acting so much of it differently. Like, Jaden, Jaden, you good? No one likes it when you think. <laughs> Holy shit. Everyone hates you. Zane's just like, I like my boys dumb. <laughs> <laughs> like, fucking same. Um, They're like, I like when what? things just happen. <laughs> Things happening is really funny, especially when Jaden explicitly goes, I'm going second so that he can't just turn one summon a Sidra. And then Zane just goes, I opened on my three Sidras plus Polly, L plus ratio. <laughs> yeah. That uh, sure was a fucking opening move. No, it was an insane opening move. Um, but it's the anime, so I'm willing to, you know, let that slide. Uh, and it did lead to... Uh, one of our best edits this week, in my personal opinion. Uh, Shor, are you good? You ready? <laughs> yeah, I'm ready. All right. Oh, no. <laughs> I hate them. And it's so good, dude. <laughs> it's so good. Up there can God. We're in call. It's It's like a minute till we're supposed to go live and i'm like shora this would be the funniest fucking edit if you can do this in time this is absolutely gonna be the thumbnail i can feel it <laughs> and so we we delay going live by like five or ten minutes just to make this happen oh cyberzoi cyborzoi <laughs> oh uh 
I, I love Sidra, oh. but I'm willing to make fun of Sidra for content. It's very funny. I can't wait for when we uh, get introduced to Cyber Darks and I can make more of them. Oh, God. Yeah, with Cyber Darks, you have a lot of potential to just go nuts. I'm not the only one that feels like Kaiser's interest in Judai just sort of came out of fucking nowhere. Not well. A little bit. Really? They they had that tension ever since their first duel, because yeah. of how close Judai came to actually beating him. The problem is that we were so inundated by the fucking keys and the sacred beast bullshit that we never really had time to elaborate on that it. until yeah. now. There wasn't a lot yeah, of the plot building. started happening. And Zayden wasn't even there for half of his fucking duels. Yep. Th yep. Then then there's the basic thing of. Yo, yo, Jaden did everything and seemingly just never loses. So he's like, yeah. he's like, oh, he's the best freshman and also seemingly better than anyone else at this school. Yeah. He, he's just like, this is the only person worthy of being my opponent for this shit. Because, you know, he like hasn't lost. At all. <laughs> well, he lost once. W well, once to, to him. But like beyond that, he keeps winning somehow. So. What else? I mean, this episode was just like I didn't write that much for this because I was just like enjoying this. Exactly, because it's yeah. good. <laughs> there's just there's so much back and forth in this episode. I wouldn't be surprised if everyone's favorite plays come from this fucking episode. Yeah. The only other <laughs> note I really have is that fucking Oscar slash what's her fucking English name? Alexis. 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 His her fucking brother just keeps going. Hey, what do you think about this guy? You want to jump his fucking bones? And she's like, "Shut up, please, shut up." Yeah, because he did it at least twice in this episode. All right, well, there's a reason for it. All right, he's sterile. He's trying to continue the family. <laughs> <laughs> the ten well, joined bloodline blood cannot blood end going. with us. And she turns the shadow to realm goes, sterilized me, Alexis. She turns to him and goes, "The bloodline ends with me." Oh no. Oh. Uh oh. I I will say I think. I I think the way that Zane goes about constantly uh fusing and then defusing, uh Cyber End is incredibly funny to the point where he says, "Uh, I my deck is constructed solely so that I can always get Cyber End Dragon out on the field, and it's so impractical to think about, but it's the absolute funniest shit." Cause it's like I wish I was this consistent. <laughs> yeah, it's just like they're gone for now. They'll be back. <laughs> back again. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> <laughs> you yeah, did. You got a reference. Yay. I'm so proud. You know oh things. God. I don't actually know what that is. But all right, let's move on to episode 52. <sighs> Good job, everyone. Uh, I I have one more note to make because. I think the sub and dub in, uh, difference here with Cyrus's, like, attitude towards the whole duel is actually pretty interesting. Because oh. the dub makes a point of him specifically going, if you play the way you usually do, you're going to lose again. I need you to, like, actually try this time. And, and he just keeps, like, hitting this home every time we cut back to him in the stands. Whereas in the sub, he's just like... Please, for me, like, duel your absolute best here. He's not, like, demanding that he strategizes or anything. And then when he sees that Jaden is, like, playing more with actual strategies in mind and not just the way he usually does, he's actually upset by it. I just thought that was interesting. Oh, uh, yeah. Yeah, the, it, yeah. It, was, it was nice finally watching the sub version of this because there's a couple of key dialogue things that are vastly different yeah. in it. That that I that I remember pretty clearly because this was a really good, really good duel. Even when I watched it when it when it first aired, and I'm like, oh, this is way different and way better. Makes way more sense. And and it's really appreciated after the fucking sacred beast bullshit that we just get like a normal duel with normal stakes, but that happens to just be a really well executed back and forth. I always love seeing that. I always love seeing. Sh Fucking show getting his little face punched in. <laughs> all right. Oh, wow. Okay. Uh, all right. Well, that doesn't happen here, and it doesn't happen in the next episode either. 
episode 52. I'm loving it now. Oh, more dueling. <laughs> My first note is I fell asleep. I guess I had a draw. <laughs> <laughs> Then I went wow. back, and my next Spoilers. one is I go back and I'm... Oh, oops. <laughs> <laughs> Your first note for the episode is the last you know. thing that fucking happens. <laughs> Sorry, guys. This show is awesome. <laughs> but then my second note is I go back, and the first thing I see is Bubble Man. I'm out. <laughs> oh, my God. Almighty, I hate being alive. <laughs> that is all... you, know what? I... you know, you're right. When I was watching it, they're like, here's part two. And, and and it's a little bit later in, but I still like that moment of this is the moment that he's really going to counterattack. What's the first thing he does? Fucking something's bubble man. Yeah! <laughs> it's the first thing. That's how you know that it's going to turn over to the other side when the best monster shows up. Bubble man is the game changer. He changes the game as soon make, as he summons. It, doesn't, it literally doesn't even make sense why that's his ability. It makes no sense. It's what so do you stupid. mean it doesn't make it? Of course it doesn't. They just wrote a thing. It's no different it's than any stupid. other any other one. Monster abilities don't typically make any sense. They're just there. I don't know. Why does know why that. does Wild Man stop traps? I can give you some long-winded theory as to why Bubble Man's ability is that. <laughs> no. But why the fuck bother? It's just fun. It's just funny. I want to hear the theory. A game <laughs> if, theory. All right. Let me give you my game theory. So if the elemental That's heroes cool. are meant to be based on like existing marvel or dc heroes then bubble man because he has what? like the whole motif with bubble blaster huh? and shit is meant to be like batman so batman always comes prepared uh, he's always got the tech it. so he gets you two cards from your deck so that you can be prepared for the next thing oh who's uh who's flame swordsman then flame that, man. not, not flame this man. season that was close um i i don't know that the fusions are necessarily representative of anything but like who is Skyscraper Man? What? Not, not a dude. Skyscraper is a field spell and not a man. You know, you're making some real progress compared to the last one where you went, it's that one that's got red on it. <laughs> <laughs> oh, man. Anyways, okay. Uh, but yeah, that's, uh, that's my theory, I guess. Uh, Which one is Superman? I guess Avion, because uh, he's, he's like the... the... No, no. no. I, I don't know. Avion's like the poster no. boy for Jaden's deck initially, so no. that's why I'm saying that. No. no. Alright, fine, then who? Just... Right, yeah, what do you guys think? I don't think any of them are supposed to be one-to-one -one based on any specifics. Not one-to-one -one based, but if I'll If you, chose, Batman, if Batman you had to choose Man, a fucking hero for Avion, it would be fu it would be fucking Hawkman! He's right oh, yeah. there! Yeah, and he's boring. I'm not gonna compare <laughs> Avion to that motherfucker. <laughs> Also, uh, Bubble Man and Spark Man both share names with Mega Man Robot Masters, so enjoy that. Yeah. That is funny. Spark Man. Spark Man Draw. <gasps> Mega Man X is a great series. Yeah, okay, I anyways. still need to I play mean, the rest of It's like that video of Eri fucking playing the visual novel and then <laughs> just is. going to the video. Oh, what? Just like, Ooh, just happening. chocolate! Jesus Christ. Oh my I'm god. I'm sorry, I'm ADHD. <laughs> no, it's, it's, it's fine. I'm, I'm gonna try to keep us on track. Uh... <laughs> Look, I'm I'm trying, but I'm failing. It's fine. There's it's no fine. way you can keep us on track. Someone teleported us to the next episode. <laughs> also, Shibuya, yeah. personally speaking, if I had to choose a hero, I'd say Bubble Man's closer to Booster Gold. Eh. Booster Gold? They, they, they both have that. that smug fucking He's aura. He's a DC hero. Um, Who actually knows DC heroes? I. Oh, hi. Hi. <laughs> <laughs> I grew well, up with well, fucking I'm glad comics. We answered that question. I watched Arrow for a hot minute. I know I was in the trenches. Oh my god! I thought you were gonna be like <laughs> Green Arrow. Hey, here's, here's some classic cartoon of of a high ratings. You're like, no, so I, I went on the C. I went I, on the CW <laughs> and picked up some trash. Bro, I had the chance to watch <sighs> Justice League Unlimited on TV and I no, didn't, actually, and I was stupid for it. It's fine. <laughs> my uh, my wife and I are watching a CW show called uh, In the Dark. Have you guys heard of that? I've never heard of that in my life. <laughs> it's about, so the, the main protagonist is someone that lost their sight through like macular, what is that? Ocular, mac, did, whatever. You almost had lost it. Her eyes. Um, and uh, she like finds a dead body, right? And then cool. she's able to like tell who it was because like she can feel his face. 
and then uh, he disappears, and so she's like trying to find him. It's really good. <laughs> it has nothing to do with DC. That's great. also has nothing to do with Yu Gi Oh, but that's fine. <laughs> uh, let's Is there a blind character in Yu Gi Oh? Probably if you go deep enough. I okay. I can't think of any at the moment. I almost said yes because I was thinking of Endul from fucking JoJo Part Three. Oh, oh, Joey's sister. <laughs> yeah, no, she almost went blind. Oh, she almost, she went blind. almost did because she had like a disease that was gonna make her go blind. It's okay. I'll let her be blind. <laughs> I won't. Thanks, man. The real hero we need. You're um, welcome. <laughs> so, ag again, just really good fucking duel. Uh, the emergency provisions to survive with literally a hundred life points was a fucking banger. They did that. They did that fucking survive with a hundred points thing a decent bit this fucking week. Yeah, but it's always cool when they do it. It has to. They have to make the tension. Otherwise, you know, if it doesn't look like the hero is about to lose or they're going to make a big comeback, it's not exciting. It's it's they like proceed how... to cut all of that tension by having Jaden look over and be like, "Hey, Sadie, I want food. <laughs> I want at least like five duels." Where Jaden just smokes the other person, just fucking destroys them, doesn't lose a single life point, and is just like, hey, that sucked. <laughs> <laughs> It'll happen. Gotcha. You're garbage. Oh, <laughs> uh, hey guys, did you miss Rampart Blaster? I hope you missed Rampart Blaster because Rampart Blaster is finally back. Everyone's favorite elemental hero fusion, Rampart Blaster, has finally arrived again for all of us to see and enjoy in this episode of Yu Gi Oh GX. Yeah, it's got rock tits. Yeah, see, why? I Rampart Blaster haters are just like spitting, trying to get people's attention. Meanwhile, my notes ignore him entirely, and my notes just say Lamal Bubble Man, and I think that's yeah! beautiful. <laughs> <laughs> oh, don't worry. I made sure to give Bubble Man his due credit. It's just, man, they really pushed the shit out of Rampart Blaster in this season. More than I ever remembered in my life. I didn't even know that card fucking existed for a while. Yeah. Awesome. I didn't yeah, know it yeah. existed until this moment. You never knew any of them existed. <laughs> <laughs> they showed up so many times. <laughs> Fun fact, Carl. Because uh, I fucking started to play goddamn uh, the GX PSP games. Jaden uses that a lot if you ever duel him. He uses Rampart right. Blaster all the time, and it has its own fucking cutscene for summoning and attacking. Yeah, it's, it's, his, it's his boss monster. <laughs> yeah. He uses it's... it more than Flame fucking Wingman. So if you ever play Tag Force, get prepared to see a bunch of Rampart Blaster. <laughs> I like how many ways that this man has to bring out Cyber and Dragon. Yeah, his entire deck is built around, yeah, he's back. It's my guy, my hey, boss. Hey, hey, back, okay. back again. Yeah. Tell a friend. What song is that by Aroxas? I have no idea. Okay. <laughs> I mean, at least you're honest about it. I can respect that. Oh, yeah. No, no fucking idea. I don't even fucking know what the song is, honestly. <laughs> what do you mean? It's fucking Eminem. What are you doing? I can't name the song off the top of my head, but I do know it's an Eminem track. No. I don't listen yeah, to Venom. Eminem. Hey Carl, you got it? Without me. You still got M &M. the button? Oh, um. Yeah! Sorry, I was getting ready to to, to bwom. Oh, okay. You know, in case we needed to. You know? Alright, uh, can, now can you do Jesus. that one more time? Oh, okay. Uh, there we go. Alright. Perfect. <laughs> Absolutely perfect. They, these bits suck. <laughs> no, they're good. They Fuck do. you. <laughs> <laughs> hey, uh, can we talk about? I never noticed before until they actually said it in this episode. Forgetting completely the Japanese word for giraffe is Kirin. Yeah. So he goes, I summon Cyber Kirin, and in the episode says, I summon Cyber Giraffe. And I'm like, oh, fuck. That's just what that is. Huh? That's supposed to be a fucking giraffe. Yeah. <laughs> Nothing like what? Funny. And uh, why oh is the giraffe's God, I never ability? Never realized that. Yeah. Knowing Japanese That's makes a some fucked up cards. looking giraffe. Yeah, I know. Um, I I find it so funny that like the giraffe negates effect damage. Why? Mm. Mm. Fucking. Its neck's not even long. It doesn't look anything like a giraffe at all. <laughs> it's like what the fuck? 
Sometimes Yu-Gi-Oh is stupid. <laughs> oh man, you got that fucking right. More gatekeeping for giraffes. Anything could be a giraffe. I think the giraffe. Looking at you, Bridget. I I was waiting for somebody cool. to fucking say. It. I'm I'm looking at the I'm looking at the page for fucking cyber curing because I needed to fucking get visual reference again. I, it it's it's both cyber giraffe and based on the actual like kidding fucking Chinese mythical creature. Right, okay, that, makes, that more makes more sense. So I need to I need to admit to something right now. Okay. I've had on the one hour of silence occasionally broke by the opening riff from Bad to the Bone for a lot of <laughs> Oh no. <laughs> <laughs> when Casey said looking at you, Bridget, it played and I almost fucking shit. Oh my god! Almost shit my thing to get out. Oh, it would be awful. It would be stupid of me. But at some point, I need to do it. One hour of silence, it intermittently broken up by the fucking gnome. Ooh! Ooh. Ooh. <laughs> Nobody can hear it except me and the people listening at home, and I think that would be awesome. <laughs> Alright, so let's, let's talk about the actual best play in this duel, which is Jaden actually getting off Elemental Burst. The only person in existence to get that card to work. Yeah. Yeah, I... Mm -hmm. Honestly, I thought that was a fucking anime-only card for a minute. Forgot no. that's a real-ass card. Oh, it's, a it's a card a that should have stayed anime-only for how stupid and difficult it is. <laughs> yeah. Now, sometimes you go into a duel trying to fulfill a challenge. Yeah, I'm sometimes fully... you gotta get your dailies. I'm yeah. fully expecting someone... To just be like, here's my prank kid's deck with elemental burst in it. I'm gonna fucking, I'll, I'll drop dead. <laughs> I think that's that like would be funny. That's something you see in a fucking Danny video. Where he's watching his sub replays and just going like, oh man, why would you do this? Uh. So anyway, time fusion. That sure isn't a card. What is that and damage here? polarizer. Like you guys really had to pull out all the the absolute bullshit anime only things to just make sure this went the exact way. Yeah, but the duel was good, yeah. so I'll allow it. It was good. <laughs> yeah, it's fine. They make they make up a bunch of cards that'll eventually get printed, like how future fusions in this in this duel it doesn't appear in any form in the card game for like ten months. Yep. They had to find and a way to make it. Proceeds to get eroded broken. like twenty times. Yeah. <laughs> Yeah. Uh, the fucking the rise to thirty six thousand nine hundred life points. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> I I really I really love the level of bad manners uh, toward the end when uh when Rio's like, yeah, I, uh, power bonded. We're gonna limit it removal too. Let's just let's just yeah. put it out. I didn't see that hey. part. He's like, oh, I'm, gonna put this, I'm gonna put this child in the ground. I was like, holy <laughs> shit, dude. <laughs> they went hard on fucking getting the big numbers in this. The fucking, like, final damage total for both of them was 57,800 points of effect damage. And I love that shit. That's mm. fucking fantastic shit. Uh, I, I, love, I love escalation like that. I wanted um, to highlight the the, the back and forth they have right as the attacks are about to hit because I do remember quite well like the dub and the uh and the sub speech where in the dub he's like Jaden you're great you're you're gonna be like you're taking over the school in terms of like being the next big like the next big duelist you know and, and then in the sub he's like yes I, I have achieved perfection here which means I've hit my limit but you have infinite potential you need to like keep climbing and then they go into that last clash, and I feel like that fits a lot more. <laughs> yeah, yeah. Because yeah. the double, the the double one comes off way more egotistical. In terms of, I'm passing it to you now. You're the important one. <laughs> yeah. Yeah. I uh, prefer the mutual respect thing. Yeah, yeah. exactly. Uh, and... I, I also like it because it, it it shows like some humility on on Zayn or Rio just going. I feel like I can't climb higher than this. But but you have like this potential that you can actually strive for that's kind of insane. You're going to get so much more support than me. 
And I have a very supported archetype. <laughs> <laughs> but only mine will become a meta support. Yeah. Totally. Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> Man, those meta supports. Well, at least, <laughs> in, uh, <laughs> at least until that one. I was starting going, I was like, well, let's see how this goes. <laughs> <laughs> so, uh, ran random trivia thanks to the fucking wiki that I decided to look at. Mm hmm. Mm. For almost eight years, Cyber End Dragon held the record for the highest achieved attack in the series, not counting, you know, infinite attack monsters. Uh, the record was not broken until episode 98 of Zexel. Of course it's fucking Zexel. Where, oh, it's Ut where Utopia Ray V achieved 83,200 <laughs> attack points. I've seen that, it's fucked up. Man. <laughs> oh, and... Episode 141 of Zexel, where Don Thousand was defeated by an attack from an overpowered number 39 Utopia, suffering 104,000 points of battle damage. <laughs> I didn't that think we could hit rule. six digits. That's incredible. Yeah, I, I, be I believe that's like the end boss of that show. Good. Ze Zexel fucking broke Don two Thousand. fucking records held by GX, and that's funny as hell. That's based, honestly. That's good, they basically that's held that show. shit for like six or seven years. Yeah, zeal yep. fucking rules. They nailed it. God, it it has it. to rule. They made two. <laughs> yeah, it's true. Zexel rules. God. I'm fucking dreading it. <laughs> Hell yeah. <laughs> Just don't watch the What's dub. So about no, I have to watch the dub. That's my <laughs> whole thing is that I watch both every time. I need time. you to break through your mental illness that makes you think you can watch the dub <laughs> past the first three shows because it's fucking worthless after that because they gave up. Okay, but if we only watch sub, all we're gonna have to say are good things. Part of the comedy isn't making fun of the bad shit, too! I di I disagree. You come out of GX hating some of these duels, so I feel like it does not matter. You'll still find shit to hate. Little Belowski was really good in dub. You have to admit. That shit was phenomenal in dub. Oh, well, there, there are many good dub things coming up, alright? <laughs> I'm sorry, did you say Little Belowski? Yeah, the, the the one where the dude's just like a stoner and he uses Moki Moki. That episode oh, was yeah. called the Little Belowski. <laughs> yeah, alright. Yeah, that'd be yeah, good. How, how else did we get those Moki Moki <laughs> sucking lips? Oh, Moki wins. <laughs> I had um, to put it back. Uh, is that Moki Moki pregnant? <laughs> wow. Wow. Um, <gasps> yeah. Uh, I've, I've said this before, but I'll say it again for reference. Um, I tried to watch the Zexel dub, uh, like, 2019. Uh, I gave it an episode and I felt like I was gonna die. Uh, so uh, that is the reason I have not seen Zexel. <laughs> okay. I've seen a few episodes of the Zexel dub because I got curious. I couldn't get past episode 10. I couldn't get past fucking ten episodes no. of that shit. Arc V, I couldn't get past one. Oh, no. Can what I happened? just... The show's bad. Wow. Oh. show's we, really we have fucking bad. That? Yes. Yes, we do. They're not <laughs> met yet, but we have those. We have goals for that. If you want to torture us, tell all, everyone you know about let Millennium me, Microphone. Let me, let me rephrase. Uh, dub's bad. I can't yeah. speak for the sub. The sub is supposed to be pretty good, but I, I hear it still starts pretty slow. Can I say, at the end of this duel, when they made it a fucking draw, I would I saw people starting to stand up. I was like, if they just walked out. No, no, they have to slowly stand up for their clap like it's the end of a Disney Channel original movie. <laughs> oh my god, yes! Oh, great. Oh, it's a great um, way to end this first season and arc because... God, so much of it was dog shit. Yeah. Only if you're stupid. No. I'm, I'm glad we, we ended season one. Remember when he dueled a monkey? <laughs> yeah, that was awesome, dude. Yeah. <laughs> I think that yeah, monkey what, comes what back at some season? point. Was the whole, like, climax of the season just, like, the, uh, the LGBT rays? The LGBT rays. Oh, he's talking about when the Sacred Beasts were revived, because that yeah. was his edit. Um... Yeah, the back half of the season made that the main plot, and then that got resolved last batch. So the actual finale of the season is like, okay, it's graduation, so we have to say goodbye to the seniors. Uh, so we're doing the send-off duel with Zayn versus Jaden. How did they tie? Because Jaden played a card that <laughs> meant that they both took the damage equal to their monster's attack points, which was enough for both of them to lose. 
Is that a thing? Like, can you actually do that? Yeah. Oh, there are yeah. multiple yeah. cards that yeah. allow you to get draws for BM. It's very funny. Oh, okay. Yeah. I love but those, those a, rule. There is a card mm. that is literally called Last Turn that had to be banned because everyone was using it in tournament settings to force a draw. Oh, what do you do in a tournament setting like that? So uh, they would force a draw Shut in up. a tournament <laughs> setting. I'm like, in, I'm in genuinely setting, curious. And Charles is like, <laughs> <laughs> get his so, ass. Uh, in a tournament setting, they would force a draw, which would basically make you go past the best of three format. But, they would okay, just keep, okay. yeah, they'd keep doing that until they got their wins or forced their opponent to surrender. <laughs> gotcha. Okay. I thought it was yeah, that they would bring out Jug and the Spiritualist so their opponent couldn't special summon a monster and they just automatically win. I think that was that might have been it. There, that, there yeah, was a, there's a yeah, lot there of fucking to like um there there are ways to, if you had a certain of... the way the card worked had certain mechanics where you could combine it with something to basically win no matter what and it yeah, it, it didn't feel good. There's Tur been a lot of Yu-Gi-Oh things. There's been a lot of like Yu-Gi-Oh techniques that have uh, been super bad fucking manners. There's there's fucking Victory Dragon that had to be like instant banned because its wording is if it. Uh, deals like enough damage to you to win the game. You win the match, which Meaning, means you automatically win oh, the best of no three. Best even of, if it's yeah. Yeah. Jesus. Yeah, yeah, because yeah, for tournament play, it is best two out of three, and it's like if that does the killing blow, it's it's the whole match. And Yu-Gi-Oh in a card game format, you are allowed to surrender at any time, so anyone can just say, "Yeah, I give up" as soon as it hits the field, and that Bio, works. Bio, allow me to tell you about one of my favorite loops that people have discovered in early Yu-Gi-Oh. Okay. They would summon Royal Magical Library in defense mode, mm -hmm. or they'd have it in defense mode, face up, mm -hmm. and it would get a spell counter every time you activated a spell card. Mm -hmm. Then they would use, uh, they would summon Gearfried, the Iron Knight, who's effective. I know that one. Yeah, to destroy any uh, equipped spells put onto him. And they would give him Butterfly Dagger Elma, whose effect was when it's destroyed, you add it back to your hand from the graveyard. And what they would do is they'd equip the Butterfly Dagger to Gearfried. He would destroy the card, it would go back to the hand, they'd get a spell counter for it being activated, and they just keep doing that to get spell counters and then draw cards from their deck with Royal Magical Library's effect. Yeah, Ro Royal Magical turn. is discard three spell counters, draw a card from your deck. I use it in my Exodia deck, it's very fun. It's very funny. Huh. There's some the very... You want. There's some very jank loops that you can do in Yu-Gi-Oh! Uh, and that's why weird cards hit the ban list is to prevent certain things like that specific situation. So, like, in that case, you would probably uh, put Elma on the ban list because on their own, Royal Magical and Gearfried aren't really that good. Do they ever, like, actually, like, playtest their decks before they put them out? They're just like, this would be cool. No. Not they really. <laughs> <laughs> they, they update the ban lists, limit lists, and forbidden, like, all those lists, uh, like, once every few months. But Jesus. usually not, not until a... Not until a new fucking core set has come out and been out for lo like long enough to have been in a tournament setting. Because they want people to buy that shit. Yeah, some things end up slipping through the cracks in terms of, oh, we didn't no we didn't think about this thing, and also it becomes way worse when there's ten thousand cards in the game and formats don't change. Yeah, yeah. So, Magic so there's, the a lot, there's a lot there's a lot of potential cool stuff that you can end up doing. Yeah, Magic the Gathering survives because they effectively keep reprinting the same card effects, like, set after set, mm -hmm. uh, with new mechanics mixed in. Yu-Gi-Oh! Ha just has one major fucking list, whereas Magic the Gathering has, like, anything from beyond this point can't be used. Yeah, but it's not anime, so it sucks. True. Yeah. No. Well, actually, there, there's a there's a chance for there to be a fucking MTG anime coming out. There's there's a manga based on fucking Magic the Gathering that's doing decently. Speaking of anime, yeah, Duel Masters. That was really cool. Episode fifty three. Episode fifty three. Season two, episode one. Hey everybody, it's me, oh. Aster Phoenix. Oh. I sound oh, like okay. this now. For fucking some goddamn my, reason. My my first note was just the word no about 45 times. Why? As I stared at the horrible creature known as Napoleon on my screen. You're uh, so yeah. right. <laughs> He's awful. Final, finally, we have someone who can play perfectly off Kronos. Oh, a dude who looks like a bulldog. 
Is he, he the, the he Robotnik? He looks like Alto's fucking dog. Is he yes, Eggman? he's the Robotnik no, looking guy. Oh, you mean like, is he played by Mike Pollock in the dog? Yeah. If he is, it went completely over my head because I was just too disgusted by the accent. <laughs> I think it was a Vice yeah. Chancellor Bonaparte, voice actor, da -da -da, Mike Pollock. Yeah, all right. So yeah, that's Eggman. It. I watched Sonic X way too much as a kid. Yeah, I get that. Is it the uh, only thing you watched? Yep. <laughs> what? That, that, hey. that rules, but. <laughs> so um. Fucking <laughs> rules. <laughs> So I'm I'm looking up I'm I'm looking up the fucking voice actors now. Uh Japanese voice actor Naoki Hitatsuya or Tatsuta, best known for Oolong in the original Dragon Ball. Uh fucking It's Corgon and Kirby right back at you. Let's go. Jesus. Uh holy shit. And um God in Heaven's Design Team. So I was uh, very, very excited to get into season two. Mm -hmm. Yep. So happy because I was like, we get to get a new opening song. It's going to be great. You have a whole <laughs> new... Lamau, uh, Lamau. You oh, fucking it's the, fool. It's the same fucking song. They didn't change shit. Chat, he doesn't yes. know 99% uh, is in a majority of GX. Get him. Uh, I actually forgot 99% bowl was... <laughs> started in season one because i always associated with two i i mainly like because they updated the visuals uh for that yeah if it were, if it just started in two i'd be fine with it it's like you guys killed fucking pirates goss so early to keep this song around for 80 percent of your fucking series it's okay we're gonna get the peak when we hit op4 it's fine um I, I... op4 okay okay OP3 is one, fine. one that song is great but i need to carl yeah what's up I would like you, and specifically only you, because you're the most invested, to guess. Mm -hmm. When is the third opening going to appear? What oh, no. oh, oh, no. Oh, God. I'm going to have, have to assume theory. that it's going to be uh, season three, if not halfway into it. I just I need a number, episode number, because what, what are we up to? Let like, me tell 55? you how many total episodes are in GX so I can give you uh, an idea. Uh, let's see. All right. GX oh, in total it up. Oh, God. has 180 episodes. Um. So, for reference, season two, uh, the end of season two will be about episode 104. And then oh season God. three runs from 105 up until 155. It's going to be fucking awful. It's, I'm going to assume it's going to be around, like, episode 120. Okay, it's not that bad. It's 105. You still have, like, 50 yeah. fucking episodes of Bull, though. Oh of 99%. <laughs> That is funny. Oh my god! <laughs> oh, it's a great song. I I I enjoy, I I enjoy it quite a bit. I'm sorry. I'm sorry. The next opening is like entirely season three centric. So, so you're just gonna have to sit with this. Yeah. Oh. I do I like that they blew. <laughs> I'm tired of it already. I'm a big fan of them blowing the OP animation budget on the Sacred Beasts because that animation still looks really good. Uh, yeah. But then season two, it has to still work. So they were like, all right, clip show, PNGs, nameplates like it's Food Wars. Let's fucking go, gang. Let's go. I, I love those nameplates. I like everything going on with uh, Kronos being very excited about his uh, his new prospects. Yeah. You know, I, I have the perfect analogy for what 99% uh, is for me. Okay. It was like when I watched One Piece for the first time and I went from <laughs> We Are to Believe in Wonderland and I went, this song sucks and it stuck around until fucking Skypea and I wanted to shoot my goddamn brains out. That was episode 50 to episode 190 or something. Oh, watch the, why do you now watch that's why the, we don't watch One intros. Piece. Now, now, I don't understand. What is your problem with 99% running from episode 34 to 105? <laughs> It is 71 episodes. You gotta change it up every once in a while. No opening in GX actually lasts this long. Oh, that's so funny. Oh. That's so the funny. Yeah, the, uh, the Tokyo Ghoul opening is really good. <laughs> Which, you know, it, it does. I haven't I mean, seen yeah. that show. However, heard... I have heard that song quite yeah, a bit. Right? <laughs> I mean, that song this is, is a really, really funny good. animator on, uh, on Twitter that like makes an animation like once every six months. But one of his is like, like he like touches like a thumbtack or something, and it plays the 
<laughs> the Tokyo <laughs> Ghoul music. God, so fucking that's, funny. Okay, that's pretty good. Honestly, I've been obsessed with fucking with fucking Hollow Hunger from Overlord lately. It's just really oh, I have that on my phone. I thought you were gonna say I'm obsessed with ninety nine percent. No, <laughs> and I'm like, so am I, man. It's just real good. I'm obsessed with the fact that Pharaoh gets a nameplate in ninety nine percent for season two. I think that's fantastic. Yeah, he deserves I, yeah. it. It's it's someone on staff. Yeah, it is. <laughs> <laughs> I'm excited that uh. That they added some little flares to uh, the intro, like title card thing in the sub, and for the eye catches, they changed the music. I was like, "Ooh!" Oh yeah, I, I actually didn't remember the first eye catch. I'm really, I think they roll with this one for the rest of it. It's like instead of showing two eye catches, it's just a uh, the it gets the Yu Gi Oh GX logo in the corner and going fading into a commercial, and then mm. cuts to the eye catch. Yeah, yeah. It's like I like that. Man, I'm still so glad we went with those eye catches for a fucking Yu-Gi-Oh! Season Zero. Those were fun. Those yeah, were those good. were very fun. Um, okay, so for anybody who watched the dub, is mm -hmm. it just me? Or at the start of Season 2, did they, like, change their mics to the point where it's insanely noticeable when they oh, have Jaden no. do this whole, like, I monologue would, of... Would of like we're back at dual academy and we're sophomores now it's a little weird thinking that we passed our exams like the audio quality they're so different it was fucking jarring for me there's a bunch of audio differences between season one and two notably this is the point where they just decide fuck what we were doing previously for a bunch of characters we're gonna do different shit which is why uh, in the next episode, when he when we fucking see Ojama King, now he's an Elvis impression. I mean, they were doing that As even near the end of season one. They they weren't quite on the on the full Elvis yet, and in, in season one they had him just going like, "Oh, hello, it's me, Ojama King." Yeah. Yeah, there's a there's a point, and it's gonna start here in season two. This is the point where, where we're where gonna get a just lot a fucking of impression because they're bored. They're just like, I'm going to we're going to reference a celebrity or something that we what? think is funny. For or the, in this, the I, get to, like, what? In this case, like, we get oh, Cyrus referencing American artist. Pie. So weird. Do they think Sorry. like parents would be watching with them? Probably. Probably. Yeah. Yeah. Just just something to do. To distract. Cartoons you know? like, are uh, noise like, that parents have to sit with. So they we have to put something in for them, too. Yeah. yeah, it's like it's like when you put in a joke that a uh, you know no kid's not necessarily gonna 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 get or anything. Um, mm -hmm. uh, a, as I had uh, as I had pointed out when I uh, when I guessed it in the Capsule Monsters episodes of Millennium Microphone, it's great to see Aster Phoenix here, uh, voiced by uh, Siegfried from original Yu Gi Oh Duel Monsters. <sighs> yeah. At least he's not granted, I did, granted, I did watch the dub. I just think I just think it's a nice fun fact. Yeah. I have a thing about a voice actor for this episode. Uh-huh. Yeah, man. The freak that shows up who's reading the cards. Yeah. He's voiced by Dio's voice actor. Yeah, it's Koyasu, one of the best Japanese yep. VAs. He's yeah, got that voice. Actually, mm -hmm. I was like, oh, There's... I didn't realize that Dio was also Aokiji in One Piece. There's gonna be some real good Dio moments later in this season, and I'm I forgot fucking that the excited. I forgot that he also voices Bo 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 Bo. Bo. <laughs> yeah, well, shit! So now good. I gotta watch Bo Bo Bo. So fucking hell! Fucking rules. So this episode <laughs> opens with fucking narration, specifically yeah. the fucking like, yeah, it's a brand new school year, and it's fucking insufferable. Same in the sub, but it's less insufferable. <laughs> Later on, Cyrus makes a fucking reference to American Pie Bandcamp. Oh! I wanted to fucking I wanted to fucking As someone who's him. watched um, American Pie Bandcamp, no. Yeah, <laughs> I'm sorry, man. Yeah, at at one point, Cyrus just goes, "This one time at Duel Camp, when an Arch Lord attacked me." Chaz immediately tells him to shut the fuck up. Chaz, Chaz is so he's pissed. He's probably this seen that, seen all the sexual I love assault Chaz in, in this season. Film. He's really funny. <laughs> He he turns he's, from he's like good. the the main like not like bad guy but at the antagonist yeah. role to like mm -hmm. he's just a clown now. Yes, and it's fantastic. <laughs> yeah, it's yeah. His dynamic is like really good of just like I'm slightly better 
and I'm coming at this different energy that's really good. He's still rival esque, but clown rival. But I still like like him. Yeah. I don't like think yeah. he sucks or is like pathetic necessarily. Mm-hmm. But God, those fucking pajamas though. <laughs> yeah, they suck. I think I it's funny bastards. that he claims that he's better, but his deck archetype is fucking Ojamas with like XYZ splashed in for no fucking reason whatsoever. Which I can't wait I, for. I don't need to look at those things all the time, so I'm really glad that we get filler moments of, hey, a normal fucking monster that I can respect. Yeah. I can't wait for Konami to inevitably decide, you know what? We need some fucking Ojama XYZ synergy cards. Let's do this. No. I mean, Oja machines are right there. If you want something like that, you can yeah. make it into like a Sentai mech or something. I I saw a concept of this where they basically just took X Y Z Dragon Cannon and repainted it to look like fucking Ojama Yellow, and they were That's all piloting tough. it. It's really fucking funny. Shora, uh, uh, I'm, I'm I'm being informed that they did apparently do that five years ago. Oh my god. <laughs> mm. If you can find the photos for me, I will throw them up. But uh, in the meantime. <sighs> so this episode, we finally right. get to meet this 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 boy, this twink, this gray haired yeah. shithead. Aster Phoenix slash Edo Phoenix, who is my new favorite character. I, I love you the can tell that of... the voice actor in the dub doesn't know what he wants to do yet. Yeah. Uh, I'm I'm a big fan of <laughs> of. Of seeing him show up and seeing that he's a freshman and he wants to challenge Jaden. And I was like, is this it? Is this you hear me, Schmaden? I was so ahead of the curve. Nope. I, I Same. I, I was so upset when they didn't <laughs> fucking do that. Uh, there, there is a legendary <laughs> dub thing happening that you will, I feel like you'll enjoy if you're conscious to watch it. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, when, when it. When it happens, uh, uh, not too far from now. I'm, okay. I'm excited. Because already. Next week will be, yeah, next session will be better. I just. Yeah. Oh yeah, of course. Yeah. We all we all have those those days. I'm sure you'll you'll have a one where you watch the episodes and <laughs> yes, one one of these days, one of these episodes <laughs> is gonna be that moment. And we're gonna be like, damn, dude, you even recognized one card. Hell yeah. So so Jaden and Aster duel for a while. They they find out that Aster's deck was just built out of eight random fucking packs that he bought. He basically just <laughs> drafted. Fucking yeah. great. And then at one point they play they fucking play Smash Brothers. They sure rules. do. He holds up. Uh... <laughs> okay, oh, okay. Speaking of Smash Brothers, this is a completely <laughs> different thing. Who actually thought that that uh, that Warner Brothers knockoff was actually good? Like, it, was everyone it, just coping it, hard no. as fuck? I mean, no, I enjoyed that. Right. it was kind of I tried fun. to play it. It was garbage. It felt like, like a flash game you'd find on Newgrounds. Okay, I wouldn't go that far, man. I, I think you're just dumb. <laughs> it's all right. I thought it was all right. It wasn't enough to keep me going. But yeah, I played it once it's, and never picked it up fine. again. Yeah. The what do you expect from a Smash clone? It's not going to be fucking good. It's all right. Yes, yeah, Smash clones at their best are like mid. Yeah, it was yeah, yeah. I, I feel like that stepped it up a bit because it actually had like a budget behind it and like effort behind it in a way where I didn't feel like parts of it were compromised in the way it's like this one actually had voice acting in it, for example, and like the Nickelodeon one or yeah, yeah. Well, they had yeah, yeah. It has there's like a good range of characters and also it's trying to do different stuff. That one's way more focused on team play. It had budget put into it and it it really wanted to do unique things like nowhere like at no point in my life would i have ever expected to see gremlins in a fucking smash clone but you know i'm happy that i've seen that now i i th i think that game is taking full advantage of the fact that they have the entirety of warner brothers like general umbrella yeah. to pull from like mm -hmm. I, that's a big fucking umbrella i haven't played it yeah. since around the time it launched but Mm. I, I was watching a video, like, the other day that mentioned multiverses, specifically because of the way Tom and Jerry are designed, because that shit's actually phenomenal. The way they That's play funny. is that Tom is constantly trying to hit Jerry at all times on the screen, and every attack misses Jerry, but then connects with the opponent. And I think that's fucking great. I love that it's, shit. It's really smart. There's a lot yeah. of, like, genuinely clever thought put into these things. Yeah, I just really need them to bring over some, like 
serial killer centric <laughs> Warner Brothers characters that yeah, can uh... attack Steven Universe. <sighs> you know, if, if Space Jam can do it, I think Multiverse is going to be bold enough to bring in think... the, the motherfucker from Clockwork Orange. <laughs> I think Godzilla was like on that leaked list of things they could put in there or something. I think like so. Specifically, yeah. also the, the weird Witch of the West. <laughs> I think specifically like Godzilla two thousand. Yeah, that's a lot of fish. Yeah. God. I love you, Matthew Bodrick. Rest in peace. I'm pretty sure he's alive. He's very much oh, alive. Dude. I'm not he's saying alive. That he's he just dead. doesn't I'm act that he's... I wasn't sure though. So if you challenged me, I was about to get scared, dude. <laughs> no, I, I I was going to say uh. He's. I know he's not dead. I just hope he's sleeping well. Oh, uh, yeah, he's alive. Hell yeah! Hope he's getting a lot of fish. Uh, he's married. <laughs> he's married see. to Sarah Jessica Parker. Really? That fucking uh, rules. Uh, yeah, yeah. Apparently, said since, since 1997. Damn. He did what I couldn't. I'm. I'm. I'm looking at the fucking like leak list of things that they uh, that was put out. There's a lot of things they haven't put into that game yet. Uh, King leaks. Kong, Godzilla, Ben Don't 10. Don't spoil the leaks. Don't put out the leaks. The leaks are already there, man. <laughs> I thought you didn't give a shit about this game. <laughs> <laughs> I still, like, care about, like, integrity. You don't just leak. Integrity. <laughs> oh, I'm sorry, Bio. I'm sorry that I have... I don't want to hear about any integrity for the guy who doesn't watch the sh <laughs> watch the ship as podcast. Bio, I'm so <laughs> sorry that I have I to tell really you that Naruto hard. is coming to multiverses. <laughs> Oh, <laughs> for real, for real? Are you faking what? that? Is it no, real? I really no, Nar Every Naruto was part. Try to watch this. Naruto was part no, of that fucking data try. mine. Absolutely, I would never. Okay, yeah. it. Mm. That's... except for a joke. Uh, you That's just got dangerous. to be interested in multiverses again. Hey, remember hey, when we Shibuya? were talking about Yu-Gi-Oh on the Yu-Gi-Oh podcast? <laughs> <laughs> hey, Shibuya, Fred Flintstone and Johnny Bravo too. Okay, bro, no, come on. <laughs> you, you, know that, that. you know that you know there's a dude in the Johnny Bravo show named Carl. I thought that was interesting. That's true. I hate that guy. He fucking sucked. I know. He's more like James than like you. It's funny. Woo! I, uh, get, getting back to the episode at hand. Um, uh -huh. sometimes watching the dub is worth it, if only for a single exchange. And this episode's mm. exchange was, uh, <clears throat> you can call me AP. All right, app. <laughs> I, I, it's the worst bit. It is That's the great. dumbest bit, but I fucking had to pause the episode because I was dying because it was that stupid. It was actually funny. Yeah, it's fucked up. That's something I would hear in my own stream. Yeah. So I don't know. I, I enjoyed Tyranno Hasselberry being a little homophobic. Look, all I know is Aster Phoenix held up fucking, uh, held up, what's that card called? Reload? Yes. Mm. And I pogged and I pointed at the screen and I went, is that a D-Ships reference? <laughs> reload is fucking fantastic oh no card. you run reload on that show <laughs> no it's what i use oh. for the reroll tokens oh thank god okay, that's great gonna, yeah I'm that's like, funny why the fuck would you run reload <laughs> how bad is it over there <laughs> it's pretty bad oh, man. so uh, right band. so you know the, the duel fucking continues they they play some smash brothers at one point <laughs> at one point clayman Decides he wants to play football. Yeah. Okay. He he did have that fusion because it's new season, new monsters, uh, and not I, a real card. Of course, he's it's not a real card. Funny. I would have played the shit out of that card if it was real. When I that would have been kid. a funny real card. Uh, uh, and then Tyrannal Hasselberry gets off the fucking boat and meets Crowler and Bonaparte, and he calls them women, and he he's homophobic. That sucks, because yeah. all he does in the fucking sub is just say dino over and over again. Yeah. I was about to say, what the fuck are you talking about? <laughs> what? He, he <laughs> like, it's... does this drill sergeant bullshit, and he's like, are yeah, you oh, ladies the ones in charge of this academy? Oof. And it's yeah. fucking... I, 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 forgot, I forgot their hokey fucking characterization they decided to do. Yeah. Oh. <sighs> Oh, I remember sure. his dino DNA, sure so that sucks. All right, he doesn't well, even say that in his fucking introductory episode. We'll get to that. We'll get to that. We haven't unlocked his backstory yet. I know DNA. Don't worry Don't about worry. it. We'll, we'll get find to out it. later. What is he like? <laughs> All right. Don't worry okay. about it. Okay, everybody, everybody. This is Bio's yeah. time to guess what the fuck dino I DNA know. means with zero proper context. So, oh, dino DNA? Tyranno okay. Hasselberry, uh, the guy who wears the Jurassic Park shirt, uh, later on. So he, he mentions having dino DNA later on in the show. I'm not going to give you the correct answer. You're going to have to wait and see when we get to it in a couple weeks, probably. But 
What do you think that means in the context of a Yu-Gi-Oh character? That means he's going to use the, a dino archetype, of course. Okay, but be besides that, like, he, he mentions know. having dino DNA. Uh, he's a dinosaur? I don't know. His mom fucked a dinosaur? <laughs> Now, all right, now, 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 <laughs> all right. that's, that's as good a guess as anything. It it's Yu-Gi-Oh! We'll, that could we'll, be true. We'll find out the yeah, answer when we get to Dino DNA. <laughs> yeah, we'll check that out later and fi find out how close we were. <laughs> we'll fact check that later on. Oh. <sighs> so yeah, at Astro Phoenix shows up. He uses a, a shitty deck he built just that day. There's not really much to talk about with him yet. Yeah, he just sort but of you know what there is a lot loses. to talk about with? <laughs> Chaz Princeton and his fucking Ojimex <coughs> in episode 54. <laughs> yeah, uh, I mean, are we skipping all the way ahead to 54? I mean, he started talking know. about Tyranno Hasselblad, that's the end of this episode, so I figured. Oh, I thought that, yeah, I was confused. Well, before we skip to episode 54, I think we should probably uh, make a little time for our Funny little fucking ad break. Yo! Oh! No, we already did that at the beginning, remember? No, we didn't. <laughs> it's not the ad break if it, if it doesn't say Open ad time. Uh, <laughs> yeah. So, we, we've got a big one for you this week. First of all, follow us on Twitter, twitter.com slash Millennium Mike. Don't follow us on Twitter. We Make fun of me. What the fuck? <laughs> what the fuck? <laughs> Damn it. He's Bubble Man. <laughs> it, just because it's Bubble Man Saturdays doesn't mean that it's a targeted attack Happy on Bubble you. Happy Bubble Man Saturdays, everybody. <laughs> Happy Bubble Man it, Saturdays. It, 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 it's great. We celebrate it every other Saturday. So, uh, on Twitter, we recently had a giveaway for a couple Dark Magician Girl posters. Uh, that's all dealt with. Thank you to everybody who actually entered. Uh, I, the turnout was a lot better than I expected. Um, but if you follow us there, you can, uh, check out some future giveaways we might have planned. Uh, you can get good memes, you can get the thumbnail images for every single episode of GX that we put up. And, you know, sometimes I put out, uh, funny memes, sometimes I put out announcements for, uh, submissions for a patron video. So, you may want to keep an eye out, because in the next couple days I'm going to be putting out another tweet for Bio's card questionnaire. So, oh, yeah, go. if you want to join in on that, Twitter.com, Millennium Mike. We also have uh, our funny fucking Patreon, because that's uh, very important. Uh, Patreon helps us keep the podcast running, and, you know, we do have stretch goals. Uh, we are no longer at the 5Ds goal, but we're still pretty close. So, you want to get us to 5Ds? You want to get us to watch Zexel? You want to force me to sit through the dub of Zexel and want to blow my brains out every week? You can do that. Patreon.com. Just take meds. No. <laughs> <laughs> Not, there aren't enough meds in the world. Uh, but there are some patron benefits you get. You get movie commentary tracks for all the movies we've done up till now and all the movies we're going to do later, uh, which... <laughs> As of right now, it's really only bonds to be on time if we hit five Ds. Uh, you yeah, get I was about to say, man, man, you found some secret movies. <laughs> we'll make up a movie. Uh, we, you get archives of our past stream vods. Uh, the Millennium Puzzle Building stream uh, is up there, and it's only up there if you're a patron. Uh, and if you are at a certain tier or above, you get special shoutouts like our blue eyes white dragons. Twenty five dollar tier, names on screen. Link to follow us on Patreon is uh, down there at the bottom. Uh, once again, a reminder that if you are not financially stable at the moment, like you cannot afford rent, you cannot afford food, word of mouth is fine. Just tell your friends about the podcast. That is fine. You can't afford eggs? Yo, egg. Fucking <laughs> prices of eggs keep going up. Let me get some eggs. They really? Yeah. Inflation hits everything, including eggs. Uh, Chickens aren't making so does, eggs on strike. So does avian influenza. Avian Thanks, man. Influenza. Elemental hero, avian influenza. Awesome. Uh, so. Oh, no, he's Egg? dead. <laughs> I thought that was a card. We all. No. No, it's yeah. not. I activate my field spell, Birdemic. <laughs> uh, Yo, isn't that a, isn't that a, a, sh a movie? That was it's a bad, bad movie, movie, yeah. Uh, we also have our Forbidden Ones. Our $50 tier, who get their names on screen in the description and read out loud. So thank you very much to Amu the Fox 
and Teletran 4. Oh yeah, let's go. Cool. And nice. last, but absolutely not least, our god cards. Uh, now we are back to a single god card, and uh, it's understandable, but that is a limited tier. So if you want to hop in on that and you have the disposable income, consider doing that. Because once those three slots are filled, that's it. Uh, thank you very much, Shining Mew. Our, our own no, Dragon Raw. Thank you. Thank you, Shining Mew. Uh, what we should do is... <laughs> sure, uh, if Shore wants to. Shore should dr uh, draw the the god cards and like take the avatar of the person that made it and like fuse that with the god card that they choose. <laughs> be really cursed. That could be funny and I also mean, cursed. Making that a once a month fucking fucking thing for god cards? Yeah, sure. I'd be down for that to be a once a month fucking thing for me to do. All right. Uh, I, I might edit the Patreon later with a descriptor of whatever the fuck Shora plans on doing. So uh, look forward to that when we iron that out. Uh, we also have some good announcements, uh, like the fact that Mill Mike Deck March Episode 7 is now public to all of our lovely viewers. Uh. It is no longer patron only. So uh, if you want to see how Shora and I did uh, pulling Grave Keepers, go and watch that. <laughs> My video got corrupted, so please enjoy Shojack and Zlug. Yeah, uh, I'm not saying anything more. <laughs> I, th I think the video speaks for itself on that one. <laughs> Oh, no, should we, I think you should show them show Jack and Zlug. No, I don't. I think if they want to see it, they should go and watch Deck March. That gets yeah, them to go them watch Deck March. The video. It, it, uh, it's yeah, one, it's one right. of those things where it's like, can I get something in the back? And, that, and, then, and then they just walk in and have to deal with it. <laughs> uh, on top of that, I have good news for Weekly Jam fans. Ah! That shit's back. It, it is. Uh, woo! Episode As six. specifically outlined in in the intro that I updated, it's a, it's a show that comes out during a day of the week. That's what weekly means. Exactly. <laughs> Let's go. This, this is a really great episode. I watched Carl react to it uh, when it was Jordan's shirt. Carl goes, "Man, this shit sucks." <laughs> Literally the worst deck I've ever seen on a fucking show. I could not believe my eyes. God. Who let this motherfucker cook? Who let him in the fucking kitchen? <laughs> motherfucker, it's like when he served us half-cooked pasta and raw sausage. What? Did he do that? <laughs> yeah. That's bad. Wow. I was like, you him, so there's a non-zero chance he went to your kitchen and cooked poison. Wait, did this, did this happen like the day after Pringles. I left? <laughs> no, that was before you showed up. Oh, that's funnier. Oh my god, I dodged a bullet <laughs> by getting there late, holy shit. <laughs> I've heard the story of how he stole your fucking your Pringles. Pringles. That's awesome. Ew, my yeah. fucking Pringles! <laughs> Didn't he also, like, drink a shitload of your soda? It was all he, it was all of him. He tried to put it all in the fridge, and we told him that he couldn't put all, both of the big fucking boxes of soda in the fridge, and he was like, oh, they, won't, they won't both be cold. <laughs> oh, my God. Uh, Jordan, one more thing. Anyway. We have a gag yeah, account. Yeah, Go follow it. You fool. You've been uh, Manjomis on the cross-split attacked. Uh, Carl, if you could. Um. Uh, yeah, go follow it. There's some shit happening over there, I think. It looked a little weird oh. last time I checked, but, uh, you know, uh, I'm sure like, it's perfectly like fine. Mm, mm. Something's happened on that account. Uh, well, you're on. running it, so that's your deal. <laughs> you know, you know I, I, I can say, I happen to notice that uh, when we started doing this Thundercross thing and certain people saw it in the thumbnail of this Twitch stream said, not today. <laughs> <laughs> oh, God. I didn't realize it was in the thumbnail. Yeah, yeah, Twitch made it. Twitch made that shot earlier the thumbnail. That was on screen for Very maybe funny. two minutes. God damn it. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> oh, I need, I need to retweet that. Hold on. Yeah, I put it up in, in our general here. Yeah. It's, it's above the two Moki Mokis fucking sucking it down. <laughs> Moki burdens. <sighs> All right. Anything else that anyone wants to advertise before we hit the dipships break? Don't forget to check out the Millennium Microphone Master Saga, or M3S, the greatest mess on YouTube. This is true. We, uh, another one of those. we still have to record another one. Uh, our schedules just need to line up. Uh, and that'll... If not this week, then like ne this next weekend would work. So, also, next don't episode coming about, soon. Don't forget about D Ships, the Dip Ships Humble Yu Gi Oh! Progression Series. Yay! 
please be excited. Shibuya and I are cooking up something wonderful. Yeah. Entering the DX era. Yeah, while, uh, while Deck Merch moves at a bit of a slower pace, D-Ships is uh, plowing forward through these sets. So if you want a taste of what is coming up for sure, and I, you can see what's happening to Carl and PM right now. Oh, Hope y'all like alternative terrible. fucking Yu-Gi-Oh formats, because... <laughs> yeah, sure, and I are looking into doing some extra stuff. So I'm um, starting Final Fantasy XV tonight. That's great. Hell yeah. I hope you enjoy it. Yeah. I'm playing Persona 3 Portable tonight. Let's it. fucking go. Uh, all right. I'm gonna. Ad break. I'm gonna throw us into dip ships, and uh, I'll see you guys at the end of the ad break. Ahoy! Do you enjoy boating? How about listening to some friends tell a few stories and talk about their weeks? Then I've got just the podcast for you. Dip Ships, the legitimate boating podcast. Every week, Carl, PM, and Medi get together and tell their favorite stories and recap what's been going on in their lives. And talk about boating, too, I guess. Check us out on YouTube, Spotify, Apple Podcasts, Google Podcasts, Amazon Music, and Podbean. And we'll see you on the Nautical Mile. Welcome back. Wow. Oh, wow. <laughs> Carl was bullying me off he, You know, he was. He kind of was. <laughs> it was very funny. <laughs> which, which makes I mean, sense. You bully him wrong. all the time. Finally, some back and forth. I do not. No, it's me, my just, I never did anything wrong to nobody. I'm such a little baby booba. Well, that's what you sound like. <laughs> Hi, it's me, Shibuya Gato. Can we keep talking about the fucking episodes of Yu-Gi-Oh, please? <laughs> Yeah, Wait, Carl. I bet you're so glad you don't have to edit this shit anymore. Oh, yes. Yes, if I had to edit this shit, I would die. <laughs> I, I can tell that's why you don't care that this thing falls off a fucking cliff 18 times. It's like, whatever, just dump it. <laughs> I mean, it's, hey, uh, it's kind of funny, to be fair. Hey, real quick, real quick, just a small aside before we get back to you. Another? Hey, Carl. Yeah. Hey, Carl. You, you remember that fucking website I told you about where you can, where you can get cheap games and shit, right? Yeah. Uh-oh. Do you want to get a PS2 bad. copy of Jimmy Neutron Jet Fusion? No. Because oh, it's on there right now. He already oh, bought no, Attack of the Twonkies. Why are you going to do this? <laughs> this is fucked up. Why are multiple people buying Attack of the Twonkies? I had to do it for work. I don't <laughs> fucking know, man. <laughs> <laughs> Shout out to Lukey Games. That's where I buy all my PS2 product. Oh Lukey my god. Games. Lukey Games. How are their prices? Uh, their prices for, like, Nintendo stuff is about the same as every other seller where it's, like, way too much. But PS2 stuff surround is pretty good. You can also get stuff complete. Which Ooh, is awesome. I might have to look into right. that. Uh, when, when you buy, um, specifically stuff like card game license games, they will find the cards. Oh my god. Really? When I bought wow. the Dual Masters uh, PS2 game for $8, it included cards. I found those cards in a drawer when Masters I was cleaning game? my room last year. Holy shit, man. Yeah, they try their best to, like, have every everything in there for the product, which is Casey, nice. are you planning on playing Dual Masters at some point? Uh, no, no, I bought that shit, like, six years ago. I've, I've used these okay, guys every now God. and then, but I was shocked at the time. Oh. <sighs> Don't worry, I have, I have not made any mistakes. I will not be playing any Kaijudo in, in my future. Speaking of yeah, things right. that are shocking, this duel for Manjame Thunder in episode 54. Let's go! Episode, episode 54. Carl, are you braced for impact? What are you impacting me this on? This one's for you. <laughs> <laughs> We got He's having a stroke, I can feel it. <laughs> I can feel him dying behind his microphone. Brognapate. Blame Shora. He sent this to me and I, like, I, I needed a minute. Cardiac arrest. I think Carl might have gotten up and walked away. I, I think he just left. 
bullshit. He's not a fan of what his future hairline is going to look like, so he had to tap out. <laughs> That's just fucked up. <laughs> no. God damn. Hey, that fucking sucks, bud. <laughs> <laughs> hey, that fucking, hey, that fucking sucks, bud. That sucks so much. Yeah. So, uh, normally when I'm setting up, uh, when I'm setting up the layout for stream, uh, I I will screen share it to everybody in call uh, before we're live, so like they'll see what a lot of the edits are ahead of time. I made sure not to do that oh, this God. week. I looked. At, I just looked at it. <laughs> yeah. I just got up and walked away because I just this sucks. Oh man, please let that one win. Sometimes you need some distance. Uh, yeah. If you want to vote on it and you're here live, congratulations. We do. Me. We do a poll, a democratic vote to see what our thumbnail is going to be every week. You could make this monstrosity the YouTube thumbnail for episode eleven. I love yeah, bio reacting, like making eye contact with it. Fucking stole his fucking soul. <laughs> it did. Fucking stole mine. I I I just want to clarify something. Uh, they yeah. didn't say the name of the kid who's dueling Chaz in the sub, did they? I think they did, yeah. They did. I believe they did, and I just completely fell out of it. Okay, so uh, he I has a he has it. a name in the sub that's okay. written down at least. Uh, what is it? His Japanese name is Hozan Gokaido. Okay, oh, that's, yeah, that's Gokaido, fine. Yeah. That's like a normal name compared to the in dub, the which dub, is Reginald he's... Van Howell the Third. <laughs> or Mr. God, Elite. Fuck this dumb dude. Yeah, man. Yeah. <laughs> or Mr. Elite. I think, man, I can't even say what I want to say about him. <sighs> He's a bitch. Ugh. His eyes scare me. Little dots just staring. Uh, I like that oh, he has yeah. one of the most boring decks I think I've ever seen. <laughs> Yeah, Meanwhile, I was about to go, deck. oh, I like it. He's running this warrior deck. That's cool. <laughs> it's just an equip warrior deck. It's like, all right. You didn't even put uh, him on uh, Ben K until the end. I didn't pop off till uh, Ben K showed up. <laughs> I, I, you know, as someone who bought, who bought occasional products, I believe I got some of this stuff at the time. And I was like, this is cool. I like a marauding captain. A it command knight. It, at this point, it just feels like anytime Chaz duels Maraud and Captain, you just know he's going to demolish his opponent <laughs> in the you most You know, I kind of forgot. I kind of forgot the attacked uh, fifty-five Maraud and Captains one time. Yeah. yeah. I like that he just like rewrites history in the sub, where he's just like. I decided to get down to the Slifer's level because Jaden refused to rise up, but now I need to go back to where I belong. And I, I, you know, <laughs> I respect some good spin. <laughs> I, Still, yeah. I also love that in the dub, he's... It's not that he knew him in, like, the middle school and looked up to him the way it is in the sub. In the dub, it's just, rumor has it, you own the best deck money can buy. Meanwhile, man's running fucking Ojamas. <laughs> It's <laughs> you know, these prismatic rare ojamas. Yeah, that shit was like fifty dollars per ojama. Ooh, we're rainbow rare, boss. Oh god, they reprinted us in gold rarity. We're not fungible, a... boss. <laughs> I'm ghost rare. They do look like NFTs. That's why I fucking hate them. <laughs> <laughs> Dude, Ojama Yellow looks like bad art you'd see on any NFT. Okay, Shora, oh. if you're willing, I have an idea. <laughs> oh no. Oh, MS, no. MS Paint, just Ojama Yellow doing the fucking NFT monkey pose. Ugh. Just staring off into the distance with a blue background. <laughs> so oh. just a fucking headshot. Okay, you gonna pay me? <laughs> I, I think it would be or a funny Or it's going to be like an actual NFT and there's going to be no money. You're going to ask your boss if they're going to pay you? What I'm do you paying think you an exposure because it's going to be a potential thumbnail candidate. Oh, there it is. <laughs> and there it fucking is. <laughs> I paid you for so many commissions, Shura. Treated these artists the way they need to be treated. Shura, I'm, I'm, I'm hosting the podcast. Time. I can't Folks. make it myself. Folks, we, we need to start treating artists the way that we should treat women. <laughs> What with respect Jesus, and yeah, love? Exactly, of course. Oh, oh, so so now it's artist ex <laughs> inclusive radical misogyny. <laughs> oh, that that fucking video is the funniest shit. There's like... a better way to hate. <laughs> Your car would not stop talking about that yesterday. It was real bad. It was, it was bad. It him was... watching the fucking fireplace video. Oh my god. For nine hours. <laughs> <laughs> 
I'm not even going to say nine hours because the th you did it the whole stream. You started watching it again. You put it in another tab by accident. Carl, <laughs> Carl, you you're need a marshmallow on fire. Carl, you need to make your next fucking emote. There's a better way to hate, but you. <laughs> I I don't know how you make that into an emote though. You just draw that fucking face, that specific face it's that he just, put in there. It's just the kid fucking, like, grinning at the camera. I don't know what... If, it's not... You know, There's a better whatever. way to hate. You know, you're right. I can't think of a visual that really works here, except, like, staring directly at you front-facing. Hey, guys, check this out. No. Anyway. I'm not, I'm oh, not putting that on stage. <laughs> uh, Why does that man's face look like Brock? <laughs> so they <laughs> fuck. So they're doing this duel, yo, right? Yo, is that, is that spicy nacho chicken? Yeah, of course it is, baby. You know it. God. So, so I'm glad the bag's duel. fucking covering that dude's nips. They're doing this duel, right? So that, so that Manja May Chaz can go get back up into Obelisk Blue because they don't want to promote a Slifer Red. We want to have a star, and Aster Phoenix just kind of fucked off and abandoned us. Yeah. They yeah, yeah, poor Kronos. Right. He's, he's doing loves me, loves me not over the fact that fucking Edo Phoenix hasn't shown up. So how do we how do we decide like who should we get to be our star? We'll we'll choose Chaz and we'll get him back into Obelisk Blue since he's a great duelist and we love him. Uh who do we make his opponent? How about this fucking child? How about this first year that just came in? This nobody that no one's ever heard of before. We're it's teaching okay. him a lesson. Well, we'll teach him a lesson. He's just like Chaz when when he was a when he was allegedly a shitty. He's definitely not shitty now. Yeah, I uh, oh. I I'm shocked the dub didn't even try to bring that up. Just like who does this clown think he is? Hard cuts to everyone in the stands going, "Wow, he's just like Chaz was a year ago." <laughs> I think yeah, that would have been really so good, actually. Um, although, they should have just had him. They should have had him do an impression of Chaz when he was edit shooting. Oh my god! Yes, they should have. That would have been great. Uh, I, I, I will give the dub credit where it's due. There was a point where I was literally going, "My God, is this kid ever going to shut the fuck up?" And then Chaz literally goes, "Do you ever shut up?" <laughs> and I clapped. <laughs> That's my guy. Let's That's go. That's my, fa my favorite is when the dialogue uh, like is right on top of me like that. <laughs> yeah. So sometimes they know what I'm thinking because they know what they did. They know exactly what they did. <laughs> I fucking despise napoleon so much yeah i hate him <laughs> he's so good as soon as he showed i'm like oh yeah this is when gx truly gets started they put him on the fucking screen they have his bald head shine like 16 times i'm like stop 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 it stop it please i'm blind <laughs> i can't watch the episode now uh no you can watch the episode because this episode has such good content as the Ojama is going to hell for being Ojama. <laughs> <laughs> Thanks, Casey. Thank God they fucking. I saw. I it. saw them do a spin into that graveyard for the effect of a card and went. There's only one thing to do. It was. <laughs> That's really good. It's really they send good. these motherfuckers to hell. <laughs> I'm, with, I'm, I'm sending you to prison. Yell. Oh. I I I do like this kid constantly making fun of Ojamas. And then by the end of the duel, this is just him. Big fan of that. <laughs> I, I hate. Oh. I didn't think I could hate something more than the Ojamas. The mech <laughs> are fucking. Yeah, awful. the Ojama machines are uh, a nightmare no. because they <laughs> they lack the ugly charm that the normal Ojamas have. Uh, but I think the fact that it literally did the Cybermen shit was the funniest Very thing. Funny. I just put like, wow, this duel sucked. <laughs> what are you talking about? We had Ojamas, they did Ojama and Dala. No, it was just crazy. Like, I was just like, I sure this episode sure did only serve to return things to normal and set something up with uh, Manjue being in blue. And then they're like, oh, you seem to love red so much. We're not moving you out of red. You get to stay there. Mamma mia, ravioli. He's <laughs> like, shut what? Yeah, it was funny. <laughs> it was funny. <laughs> ravioli. What the fuck was the point of all this? I, I, I hate I hate to alarm you, Carl. <laughs> uh, Yu-Gi-Oh! GX has one-offs everywhere. 
That's just going to happen. I know. I was just expecting something more from this one. And I was like, no, yeah, they'll, they'll occasionally on. they'll occasionally do changes of, of, you know, of hierarchy or status quo. But most of the time, no, no, we're just we're just doing a fun duel. See, if this was just set up for him being in blue. So like I said, something up later with the shit that happens, I'd be like, yeah, all right, this works. This is fine. It don't do shit, dog. No, but it's not though, too advanced. Though if you do have, um, really? if you have cons if you have concerns like of where you're going to have to wait 30 episodes for the plot to start, we'll not do it like that, but there will in fact be one off episodes. So you just have to hold it. Now, see, I think you're missing the point that this isn't about progressing the plot. This is about showing off the fact that Chaz beat the ass of a kid who's just like he was a year ago for real. So he's yeah. grown as a character, and he's still huffing so much copium because it's like, yeah, listen, red's not that bad. And then everyone's like, oh, you want to stay in red? Okay, we we hear you. And he's like, no, hey, no, hey, hey, no. no! It's no. all right. He's going to fix the dorm himself with his family's money and when he steals it all. You know, you 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 talking about the red door not being that bad reminds me of when, when Rio in the, in the first episode of the set goes to their dorm and goes, man, I've never been in here. This is, um, distinct yeah, yeah. He, he literally goes to <laughs> leave and he's like is perfect for you kids oh my god he, he literally goes to leave and he's like damn this door is really like about to fall off the hinges i'll 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 tell the principal let's fucking go he walks, <laughs> in, he's, he walks in with one of those tiny smiles and he looks around a bit and he looks at them and he goes you guys live like this <laughs> damn bitch you live he like tries this? his best not to like the 15 cockroaches in the room <laughs> Also, not to mention the fact that uh, because Chaz is renovating the entire dorm, he is now taking Chumley's top bunk and is just, like, intruding on <laughs> Jane and Cyrus's somebody? room. It's I so funny. I gotta stay here until my super room is okay, built. Now, now, hold on. Hold on. Carl. Yep. Where's Chumley? Bio just asked. Do we need to answer where Chumley went? Yeah. Bio, I'm sorry. Is he dead? Bio? <laughs> you don't remember what happened in the last set of episodes? No. I shouldn't be surprised by it. Okay, now now in the last set of episodes, <laughs> um, he, kicked out? He, sh he showed his really good art, and they're like, he's really good at drawing, and, and then Pegasus was going to hire him for his job, but then Cronus is like, I got to duel you to decide whether he's, or not he's, I he's, give you a recommendation. You said, like, three names he's already lost. He doesn't know I know, I know. I, the, 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 <laughs> wow. the, the effect here is you completely didn't watch an entire episode. I remember him drawing. Yeah, he yeah. Knew, and then they hired him at fucking Industrial Illusions so he could make card art, and then he went off on a plane to go to his new job and be there. It was mm. the whole point of the last episode we watched. Oh, I'm, yeah, it was I'm the last fucking... episode of the previous set. I'm he got his job, that's it. Says. Come on. Uh, me, when I realized Bio really does not retain anything from any of the fucking episodes we watch. Yeah, for real. <laughs> that one shook me. I, I lit him like a Christmas tree when he had that. I'm like, oh, that rules. Man. Oh, <sighs> we really bring people. everything to this podcast. Uh, color commentary, going off topic, vi vibes of memory loss. <laughs> yeah, Cyber Zoys. Random, random person they pull off the street that doesn't know anything about Yu-Gi-Oh. Got it all. Yeah, but you're learning. The point Am is I like, <laughs> yes. <laughs> Do you know more now than you did when we started it three years ago? I think so. I think you do. You know what a face down card is. True. Okay. Yeah. Yeah. Exactly. I'm proud of you. Traps. I feel like many people could could like guess their way into what a face down card. All right, Bio. Quick what question. What, what color is trap cards? Purple. Okay. Good. Thank God. I was. Go I got real scared for a Ooh. second. That was on Bio's card questionnaire. He better know the answer. <laughs> <laughs> oh. Hey, hey. It's been forever since that. It has, it has been at least a week. Yeah. yeah, it's all out. <laughs> uh, it's it's all right. We're doing another recording. We're gonna reference there a draw happened in this set. He's like, "What are you talking about?" <laughs> Every year, month. I'm gonna be. I'm not you know back. what we're talking about? We're talking about episode fifty-five. Is that another episode? Yeah. 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 Holy yeah. shit! <laughs> I just took it. I knew. I watched it. I have my notes oh, say. Oh, thank God! Oh, thank you should God. take point on it, Wait, man. Did you just say I watched it? My notes say I watched it. <laughs> No, no, no. My notes, say, say, I my notes say dinosaurs. Okay. Okay. I yes. Yes. You got it. I was about to have a panic attack. Yes, you, got uh, have a panic attack. you got the you got the boomer who doesn't want change. <laughs> yeah, actually, that is the vibe. I I'm going insane. <laughs> <laughs> uh, what?
Yeah, but the guy that dressed up as a dinosaur is like, oh, I can't, I can't deal with change. I haven't changed my deck in like ten years. Why aren't these people? No, the dub does winning? say this. He's right. Oh, my God. oh, okay. Yeah, I I knew there'd be something dub related. I'm like, what the f where's this the lead the dub to? makes an explicit mention of he has made the exact same play with his deck, like the the same exact mm -hmm. combos mm -hmm. for twelve duels in a row. Oh. Yep. Enter Tyranno Hassleberry. A character that will become infinitely funnier or more annoying depending on how you feel. He's a I recurring like character. There's no in between. Yeah. Uh, yes. I, I, I have horrible news. He is Bio, the he's main a major cast. character. <laughs> oh he is God. a main cast member. Why we do you think they designed Chum him? <laughs> we lost Chumley in order to get him, and it's such a fucking upgrade. And it really is. It? is. Okay. Yeah. yeah. I, I love you. this man. I'd love to introduce my new favorite character. Hey, uh, I, I got a question for you guys. Mm hmm You ever seen Jurassic World? Yeah. No. Really weird they put the guy from Yu-Gi-Oh! in Jurassic World. <laughs> oh, that's crazy. That's wild. I didn't know he was Chris Pratt. Don't. You pull a Tropic Thunder? That's love, love it. <laughs> Don't! <laughs> oh. Jesus. Jaden, release a Tropic Thunder today. <laughs> 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 You know, I'm really glad that that, that they they put um, Hassleberry slash Kenzon in to the main cast because we don't have we don't have a main duelist in the cast that is raw yellow, and I'm really glad that we finally got one. It's so true. Yeah, I think, think it's pretty important that we I haven't had a raw yellow at all. Then, yeah, it's very. I I watched the 99 percent opening, and at the end they like show the lineup, and I considered <laughs> an edit where I circle Bash and go. And Dude thinks he's on the team. You should have. That's funny. <laughs> <laughs> Bro has not God, been on the team so right. since. I didn't the have the heart to do it because he at least does. He he does some stuff in this season, <laughs> but still. Thank God, he finally does fucking something other than lose to. <laughs> he one does. Woman. He does something, but it's not going to be that great. <laughs> Oh, I remember what he does this season, and I can't wait. Yeah, I'm I can't fucking I'm, wait. I'm excited because I think that podcast oh. episode specifically is going to be funny as hell. <laughs> I can't wait for Bastion Misawa's white arc. So, what did they do for the Ben K bit in this episode? Because in the sub, they just keep referring to Hasselberry as Ben K, like the legendary warrior who kept stealing people's weapons under a bridge or something. They just don't really bring it up. Be because <laughs> that's, that's he's the like... the four kids way, dude. Yeah. He's just collecting dual discs because funny episode gimmick there's there's no reference to ben k there's no reference to any japanese well, legend I remember no reference to ben k i was just i was just wondering if they did like anything with that well remember no. that his character in the dub is he's a fucking soldier sergeant, or whatever yeah, so like i i think that's meant to sort of replace it his, if you're weak, you don't get a duel really. disc. Yeah, his idea is like, oh, if I win enough duel discs, those clowns have to fucking upgrade me to Obelisk Blue. I just pictured him going up to fucking Cyrus. Let me see your war face. Ah! <laughs> <laughs> I will shit Cyrus. down your neck. <laughs> Cyrus proceeds to scream so fucking high pitched that only dogs can hear it. Oh my god. <laughs> <laughs> fucking house his ears start bleeding. He goes, I like that, son. Thank you, sir. What? I can't hear no more. Oh my god. <laughs> this is bit for the rest of the season. Just <laughs> Tyrannal Hasselberry going, What? He's <laughs> just totally deaf now. Oh man. I barely have notes on this one. I was mostly just watching and cringing at the dub voice. <laughs> hey guys, check out this picture of Wildman. All right. I don't want to. <laughs> 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 yeah, hold on. I okay. really don't want to. <laughs> I caught it out of the corner of my eye. I was like, what the fuck's going on? What's up with his face? <laughs> this is what happens when the Giga Chat's edible hits. Yeah. Oh my god, yes, actually. Oh. Jesus Christ. You know what? That's going to be a thumbnail contender. I feel like that's... uh. Just funny just enough. The picture of Wild Arms. <laughs> um, yeah. That's great. This looks so detailed. Sometimes you don't we need don't to have make to, an we don't edit. Have to do shit. The it already looks wrong. It speaks for itself. 
Uh, so you know this, what? This... It's that he looks like an Aqua Teen Hunger Force character. That's what it is. He does. It's oh. the eyes. It's the no, like, fucking I'm massive sorry. eyes. It's 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 the right side of his nose that's fucking with me because I just noticed how small his nostril looks and that the line makes it look like it's so misshapen. It's like a me's nose. Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> God. I'm fucking. The more you look at this, the worse it gets. <laughs> yeah. Now, now I'm just imagining stretching his chin out like it's a borzoi snout and dying. Oh, God. <laughs> <sighs> oh, my God. Uh, so, I, there's really just not a lot to talk about with this nope. fucking duel. It's a bunch of dinosaur fucking shit. I love dinosaurs. They're like, yo, bird become- black tyranno. Wow, gilosaurus. Yeah. A bird becomes a dinosaur at one point. The, the, the fucking oh, wild man. wingman shows up. Yeah, Dark wild wingman's here. Shit. Yeah. Fucking Hasselberry keeps going on about how people like used to hang out with him and then they just leave him and he got sad about it because all of his new minions that he has dressed up like DreamWorks minions are all just like, man, this Jaden kid's pretty cool. Shibuya? Yeah? I have to show you something delightful. Oh, no. Uh, so I was clicking on the picture of Wild Wingman on the fucking on the wiki just for the sake of looking closer at the at a screenshot of him, right? Okay. Mm-hmm. And instead of taking me to a larger image, it just takes me to a fucking gallery of Yu-Gi-Oh! GX anime cards. One of the first fucking things I see on this page is the smallest fucking t- <laughs> image of baby dragon in the world. <laughs> All right, hold on, because I gotta, I, I gotta zoom in in hands. This is how I see all short people. That's a fucking so one. God damn it! I'm gonna look on. at my friend Tanya. Yeah, I was, about, I was about to say, I was yeah, gonna make right. a joke earlier that Napoleon Bonaparte's about the same size. Yeah. <laughs> oh God. All right, hold on. I, I, I gotta jump through some hoops, get this on screen, because this is very, this is. Yeah, crucial. This is quite the challenge. Yeah, I feel you. Just yeah. copy the image, paste it. It's a web in. p. Can you let me fucking finish my goddamn word? I'm telling you, it's fucking wimpy. You right-click it in your browser, you click copy image, you paste it into the Discord, it becomes a PNG, and then you throw it in. He's right. Dinosaurs are cool. All right, well, I have it regardless. Uh, so that's actual size. I don't know if you can see it, it in the top it. left <laughs> of the screen. Um, that is the size it came out as. So we're going to enhance... Enhance. Oh, more. Oh. Enhance. More. Enhance. <laughs> there he is. That's the guy. Beautiful. <laughs> is this a Baby thumbnail tracking. candidate? <laughs> Only if it's actual size. Hold on. <laughs> yeah. You just put him on that, my uh, shoulder. It's fine. My kids. Jif where the kids using the Hopefully like been... glasses or hands. What's up, Carl? What was that, Carl? Joseph Hope, they've bit crunched me. <laughs> oh, no! Joseph Hope, please. Okay, that's really good. That's oh really God, please, Joseph. God, I'm, I'm so glad Baby right, Dragon go, is, a, He's is on the eternal bit of this podcast. Yeah. He's so small. Yeah. He's just Duel a little happens. guy. That's why he's Baby Dragon. <laughs> baby yeah. Dragon, the size of a fucking parrot. There is a point where they're playing a song in this that just has a doink sound effect in it. Doink? <laughs> doink. What? It fucking murdered me in the sub. It's just because the part of the song is just like, no, what? I'm like, what the fuck was that? They're having this serious conversation. You just hear, no, what? It fucking sucks. Hello? Yeah. What? I got Hi. scared. Uh, it's okay. We fi- we finally found a gap, so everyone's trying to breathe. Yeah, I'm taking a sip of water. <laughs> I-, I feel like it was incredibly bad manners and unnecessary when when you Jaden uses that. skyscraper toward the end, and then just it creates the ice age. <laughs> Very funny. Just just briefly, funny. just to just to ruin all dinosaurs, I guess. Oh yeah. Fuck a dinosaurs. You what? <laughs> no. <laughs> <laughs> You're like, I hate this gap now. And uh this episode exists solely to put Tyranno Hasselberry on the fucking team. He's on the team now. Way to go. 
It's wonderful news. I'm glad we'll He's be here. seeing more of this man. Of course. He will remain here yeah. for the rest of the fucking series. I hope you Literally enjoy Literally the rest of the fucking show. Yep. That is insane to me. <laughs> You're oh. like, hey, buckle up. You got 130 more episodes of Tyranno Asshole Barrick. <laughs> Don't worry. It's if you think it's if you think it's something to introduce a character this wild right now, just wait until oh. next season where they introduce like 20. <laughs> oh yeah, there's oh, we got. Oh, we got some we got some big hits coming. But yeah, he's great. Oh, Even so he outlasts 99%. That's hard. I I like the part of the episode where Jaden goes to deliver the final blow and his and fucking uh, Hasbury's eyes get like dino looking. I'm like yeah, baby. It's my feral son. The beast oh, unleashed. The beast unleashed. Fucking. <laughs> oh. So good. Also, I think this whole, like, sergeant military fucking gimmick that they've got him doing lasts only this episode or maybe a couple more. Because I don't remember him being nearly that fucking much. Yeah, I remember him having a very different voice. So I'm glad uh, to confirm that that's not just me making things up. <laughs> Uh, and that they his, do ditch his voice. This. His voice stays the same. It's just they get rid of the fucking like weird military gimmick. I remember a guy who has a crocodile strapped to his back. Oh, I can't wait for him. I'm excited for him. Oh yeah, he's just kind of there. <laughs> he's got yeah. a nice pussy. Don't worry. <laughs> Dude, I right. wish I could do that. Uh, all right. I th I think we're good. I think that's about What'd everything. What you say about a pussy? Huh? Don't worry about it. Okay. What? They put the pussy in charge of this life at Red Dorm, and I think that's beautiful. What's everyone's least favorite card? Uh, least favorite card play. Um, I'll oh. I'll just go ahead and say that I think they really overused Defusion. It's not my least favorite because it's bad. It's my least favorite because they sort of took the magic out of it by doing it seventeen thousand times over the course of two duels. That's fair. I mean, it's the you know the Fusion Master. He's got to learn how to mix and match his monsters. And make them and break them you know i mean yeah but there's some there's some cards you get tired of you know what i don't get tired of bubble man so true so true, so true. our favorites that's not the, yet that's though. the anti-defusion <laughs> you're so Least right favorite god that's a weirdly difficult choice this week i fucking hate all jamek yellow yeah yeah, yeah you mean a jaw machine yellow whatever they fucking call it jamas are not good not a fan. Uh, terrible. I also hated the whole fucking Mancha Maid duel. I, I enjoyed general. that duel. I fucking hated it. It sucked. The, the fucking Tyranno Hasselberry duel was my least favorite, if anything. Okay, uh, my, one of my least favorite plays is from the Tyranno Hasselberry one. Okay. Yeah. Uh, Jade, Jade, <laughs> you guys play where he's just like, uh, I returned a second copy of another card I had face down to survive. And I was like, shut the fuck up, dude. What are That's you fair. talking about? Dude? Sometimes you brick and you get two of the same cards. The fact, that he, the fact they're like, uh, I guess I bricked with this card we haven't seen before. I guess I'm just going to choose fucking like Archeonis. I don't, I don't I mean, whatever. Yeah. I, I don't hate the Oja machines. I think they're kind of funny. I can't wait for Tyranno Hasselberry's deck to actually, you know, get better. Same. Yeah. Twin headed T-Rex. put a dinosaur in it. Y'all. You put three. Imagine this man running a dinosaur deck. I can't. It's just I, unthinkable. I can't really think of. I can't really think of like a least favorite play because honestly, I don't like fucking Archeonis, but I do like the I, the reference to you know birds. De-evolving into dinosaurs. a dinosaur was really yeah. fucking good, actually, yeah. That was that was funny. I liked that. Uh, I, I also struggled to think of a least favorite play, so I just said, like, them implying that Tyranno Hasselberry was able to do the exact same set of plays 12 duels in a row when drawing from a deck is complete RNG. I was just like, yeah, that's dumb. Everything else was fine. No. Rampart actually, was. no. No, I'm gonna change it. Amber Pitfall. Gross. Fair. Fair. Yum. Looks like he's drowning in honey mustard. Uh, Bio, did you say least favorite card play? Uh, least favorite card was your the your jamas. Okay. Uh, I don't know if I have a least favorite play. Uh, 
Oh, them like tying at the end. That was. Yeah, you like yeah. woke up and went, what the fuck happened, dude? Yeah. yeah. <laughs> Mm-mm. All right, fair enough. Uh, now it's time for Kino. Favorite card play? Oh, I like CED. CED is fantastic. I don't blame you. I liked the um, I liked that part where they tied. <laughs> I liked yeah, the Final escalation of they kept really making raw. the points go higher and higher, and then they just went, yeah, it's just gonna, it's just gonna crash. Yeah, that was really good. Yeah. Yeah, I, always, I always liked I always liked that, that that conclusion, this idea. It's like he didn't beat him, but he got really close. I like that Judai got Elemental Blast to work. It's my favorite play. Fair. Yeah, good for him. It's good for him. Uh honestly yeah. the tie I is liked... my favorite play <laughs> as well. I liked I think this actually kind of contradicts myself, <laughs> but the power oh, bot was a cool card. Oh, okay. <laughs> I was like, contradict. It must be about Bumble Man to let him draw two cards. No, no. Because that's still in the same play where they tied, but I still thought Power Bond was a cool play. Yeah, anytime uh, Zane throws Power Bond out there, it's usually pretty cool. That's true. He did the, you know, he did that Power Bond and then had that other card out that negated Power Bond's effect damage. That was cool. Sure. Uh, my, my favorite play has definitely got to be fucking final fusion that that's just fucking good as hell favorite monster is a little bit more difficult though because fucking there's so many good ones in this one I but, you just... know cyber zoi is great we love them uh if i put it on screen do you want to hit play again <laughs> yeah. all right uh oh, count my. me down three two one it's the Kermy that fucking kills me. Uh, I should have made it do it six times. Oh, that would have been so vile, but so good. Uh, my favorite monster is probably Oja Machine Yellow, just because I love the fact that he's just there to be a Cyberman and blow up. I think that's the funniest way to do an Ojama effect. He's a little gremlin. I mean, look at him. He just stands the fuck up in his card art. It's so good. I, I, I need to make an Ojama deck at some point. These little fuckers are chaos incarnate, and I, I, I love it. I hate them. Well, you hate culture, so not shocking. No. <laughs> Bada boom. Bada bing. Uh, There's a better way to hate. <laughs> <laughs> there is. <laughs> all right our next episodes are going to be uh episodes 56 through 60 that'll be uh in dub terms season two episode four through episode eight and that recording is going to be happening on february 11th so look forward to that Wait, hey, you're... Some content this week yeah uh we've we've got a lot of bonus content coming up so please be patient uh, we've got some good stuff cooking, so look forward to that. And, uh, yeah, anybody got anything to say before, before we do the funny outro? No. Uh, no. No, I think I'm good. Shit, all right. <laughs> we kind of blew our load in the ad break, huh? Oh. Um, no. Ooh. <laughs> I like how you had to think about it for a not, minute. Not do that. <laughs> Like no, like, not no, like, like, like no in terms of you don't have anything or no in terms of that we did not blow our load. I did not, I did not, nope. Ohio, it's an expression. Oh, I know. Yeah, I know. Okay. <laughs> he's like, he's like yeah. I know. Oh my he's like, God. he's like, no oh more, God. he's like, no more kids, man. Come on. Hey, Carl, can We're I- fucking disintegrating. Hey, hey Carl, <laughs> can I get mm-hmm. a single vine boom to play it out? Yeah. All right. Fantastic. And with that, we're doing the outro read with him on screen. God damn it. No, I can't get a freaking oh. <laughs> This is too good. I can't hit the jumping button. I'm not strong enough. God damn it. Oh. <laughs> Thank you all so much for listening to the Lenny Microphone. This show would not be here to this day without your continued support. 
We're excited to get through more of GX. Hitting Season 2 is a big accomplishment for us. If you like the podcast, please consider sharing it with your friends if you think they would like it. And if you want to follow any of the hosts, our links, as always, are in the description down below. Until next time, get your game on. <laughs>